Leo. Hello. I've got something so important to tell you. Mm-hmm. But before I do, audience, please consider subscribing to our Patreon. You know what? Please. Don't consider it. Just do it. Do it, man. Because they get they get pussy if they do it, right? Well, yes. You subscribe, you get a little bit more into our brains. It equates to you getting more vagina, and mm. that's just the truth. That's just the simple truth. Mm-hmm. So please do it. You got to swap cash for hard assets. Yes. That's the only way to beat inflation. Mm-hmm. And there is no harder asset than pussy. No, dude. I realize that didn't make sense after I said because pussy's pretty soft, isn't it, Leo? Yeah, it is. You're there... swapping money for pussy on our Patreon. Extra episode every week. Yeah. And a lot of insight into our souls. Yeah. And that's what you guys are looking for. <sighs> And thank you, Leo. That was beautiful. Thank you. With that being said, mm-hmm. I actually don't have something really important to tell you. God damn it. That was all a fib to keep the audience <laughs> on the hook. What was it like taking uh, all the, uh, the the kids down to the old San Diego Comedy Club there? I didn't know where you were going with that when you started that sentence. Mm. What was it like taking all the kids down to the old cellar? Mm-hmm. The San Diego Comedy Trip. Yeah, yeah, that was a fucking disaster, dude. Really? It was a fucking disaster. Well, I could have told you that, dude. I mean, I would say, am I willing? To, I'm willing to guess that there were a couple culprits. The all there were a couple culprits, really, at the at, at at I don't know at the head of the snake. Who was it? Listen, who was the head of the snake? I'm going to tell you, Leo. Mm-hmm. But I just want to establish first of all, what would you say my profession is? Well, I think uh, an old roommate of yours put it really well. You basically you come into town. And you fucking rile it up. Okay. You know, basically, if you it, it's you leaving the scene of a crime with uh, the crime scene is up in flames. Okay. You know, that's what you do. So that would be a commando. I think that would be the, the job of a commando. Or a mass shooter. Mm-hmm. That's not my job. My job, yeah. contrary to popular belief, not a comedian, not a YouTuber, not a mass shooter, zookeeper. Zookeeper. Yeah. And it was yeah. proved that I am that this weekend when I took... Dino, Austin, King Croc, Swolby One Kenobi, Fan Jerry, and Inland Iggy down to see Ryan Long perform stand-up comedy. Oh, my God. Let's go in order yeah. of smallest offenses to largest. All right, smallest. King Croc? Yeah. No, King Croc was the hero of the night. I heard his set. He did a full African set? He did stand-up. It was his first time ever taking the stage in front of mm-hmm. a full comedy club audience. He fucking murdered Leo. Unbelievable. But- I could have seen that happen. Let's get back. I'm sorry. I was gonna. Yeah, no, I was right. gonna come after you for something. You got a little drunk at the end. Yeah. You did. He did do this. He asked a hostess for her phone number oh. after he slayed the entire crowd, and she gave him a phone number, Leo. Well, that's good. Except of course. the number was nine one one. No, it's not that funny. Honestly, it was fucked up. She gave yeah, you the, the. She gave you the number nine one one. Yeah. Like she yeah. wrote it down on a piece of paper. No, nah, she just told me. You know what? There's a but, chance that she's dispatch. And that's her job, and she just wanted you to give. She wanted to give you the most easy way to reach her. I mean, look, what she would have to answer. She <laughs> and what if you said like, "Oh yeah, nine one one, there's you an emergency." Have... Oh my God, sir. Uh, yes, we're gonna send somebody right away. No, no, I need you. It's 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 that big of an emergency. Uh, okay, where are you? I'm in my apartment, and my pants are around my ankles, and and, and I've been erect for six hours, and I need somebody to come do something. Please, it work. What do you think about that, King? I wouldn't do it, honestly, but I like the idea. Well, I think she should pay for the crime of giving you that number. That might even be illegal to give 911 as a fake number. Impersonating a police officer? Oh, no, not really. Eh, we'll surprised. talk to my attorney. Around that area. I'm surprised. Austin I'm surprised. and Dino, mm-hmm. they show up at the comedy club with no wallets or identification. I, I don't know. I think Dino has something with, like, if he carries his identification, somehow the government knows where he is more. I don't know, he thinks there's, like, some kind of tracking device on I- IDs. He, he decided to wait until he was asking for... We can't hear you, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we can't hear you on our, on our headphones. Dino, what are you? Are you a five-year-old kid going on a play date? I'm trying to think of the last time I didn't bring my ID somewhere, and it must have been deep into childhood. He's a troubled, abused 13-year-old, I think. Sexually, mentally, I don't think he's been fed much. I mean, obviously he hasn't been fed much. Look at him. What were in your po- What was in your pockets when you rolled up to that comedy club, Dino? I'm thinking a ball of lint. <laughs> A piece of smear, spearmint gum mm-hmm. from God knows how long ago. Guys, what, what is going on? So Dino doesn't have a mic over there. 
Not yet. Okay. We have, there are a couple of distractions going on in the studio. We have internet being installed actively by an yeah. AT&T employee. We have Dino <clears throat> hustling around for a microphone. Is Leo he, uh, and King Crocker both drinking sugary beverages. Oh, no, yours no, is sugar, is sugar free. free. Excuse me. Um, is the uh, the guy, the internet guy, is that a Spectrum, sir? Spectrum. Spectrum. Nice. I'm sure. Are we getting the child porn package? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Hey, you 600 want to say it megabits per second, so you could download Ooh, it pretty quick. Wow, that's that's mm, strong. The that's child good. porn package. Interesting marketing strategy yeah. Spectrum has. Yeah. You that's advertised. Get, I know. I know you have internet problems. Where you know you should get the uh, the password here, so you could go. You know, you can come download stuff outside or something, or you know, upload videos. You know, you always have that kind of. Some debacle happens with your internet at some point. Uh huh. You know. I'm gonna buy a snuff film. There we go. The black market here in order to sink Austin. Perfect. Dino, what did you have in your pockets when you rolled up to that comedy club? Literally nothing. I don't even have a fucking phone right now. God, what happened broke. to your phone? It broke. It's an Android, dude. It cracked and then it died. What are you're like an antelope? Like an antelope or a coyote has basically the same thing going on in its life as Dino does. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could be like saltine. You could work one day at Postmates and pay for a phone. It's a lot. It could be a long day, but you could do it. He's waiting on a a few fans offered to give him a phone, so he's just gonna that's leech nice. off of the community. Yeah, I hope like, those. I yeah. hope that phone is loaded with child porn. I, I think that's what we should. It's just, a bomb. That's the <laughs> Schlosser brothers. Bomb, that's how yeah. we're gonna take him down. Dino, I think he's too exhausted. I think he's too malnourished to even make his way back to the microphone. So we'll move on. Yeah. Swolby one Kenobi. Oh God. Was despicable. <laughs> was despicable. I, All trip. Listen, uh, you know the pod that never was to be, the one that wasn't recorded where you weren't here? Swolby was unbelievable. This, he was despicable on that pod. The too. podcast before King Croc came back, correct, where you brought a stand-up comedian woman friend of yours. Mm -hmm. You got her liquored up. You tried to get her to suck your dick in the car on the ride home. Sure. Is that why that podcast was never to be? I think it has little to do with Swolby or technical malfunctions and more to do with Leandro D'Otavio destroying evidence. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, that girl, she's a nice girl. Uh, there was no yeah. blowjob. It uh -huh. happened because yeah. she was completely out of her mind. Uh, we should have her on again. Is she buried in the desert now? I needed you, that pod, because you know, I, she's not buried in the, in the desert. In fact, I started another comedy club, and I tried to hook her up with Blake Harthcock, the Barney kid. Was oh, on the pod. I'm sure she jumped all over that. <laughs> it's mean that she she did say hi, some mean things about hi, Blake. Hi, Missy. I'm Blake Harthcock. Thing is. I'm a penniless loser from Alabama. God. How did she resist? She How did, did she resist? She turned him down very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. She said she basically is looking for me, but with a sensitive side. You know, isn't it on? You have a sensitive side. I, I think say. so. Yeah. You know, isn't it unfair that with the mating market, it's not as if a five guy can match up with a five chick. Mm -mm. The five chick has her eye just like the nine chick on the nine and ten guys. And she'll find a nine and ten guy with some kind of a like a, some kind of weird CD pass, maybe a really small penis. Mm -hmm. I've seen small penis, really handsome dudes will end up with a five. Or she'll find a guy like you, mm -hmm. as intoxicated as you were after you rolled out of Universal Studios in the mm -hmm. main video this week, and you will throw her up against your bedroom wall, yeah. face fuck her until you ejaculate. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Spectre man is walking by, and I'm just My trying man, to... Dude, I'm, hey, he, we're not to sit him down. That's why I scheduled dude. it during the show. Yeah, it's... it's, <laughs> it's I've been <laughs> censoring myself a little bit. But, Leo, you would absolutely face fuck a five, especially if you've I, been drinking. Absolutely. And then you doing that actually harms the community, though, mm. because then these broads get it into their noggin that they're a catch. Yeah. I yeah. think it's Hugh Jackman's fault. Have you seen his wife? He, one of the greatest, yes, one of the greatest men of our time, one of the most overall renaissance type men ever, yeah. is married to a very unattractive woman. So you think broads pick up a copy of People magazine, mm -hmm. they flip through, they see the pictures of Hugh Jackman right. and his busted chick, mm -hmm. they flip the next page over, it's Jason Momoa with his old ass nasty yep. ex-wife, yep. and yep. they're like, oh, Chomp, chomp, Cheeto, right. chomp, chomp. You know what? I need to get back out on the market. I'm a good woman. Mm -hmm. I can find myself a man who's an attorney and has a six-pack and drives a Mercedes. Chomp more Cheetos. Chomp, chomp, pussy fart. Mm -hmm. and, then they, pussy fart. and then they fucking yeah. hoist themselves off the couch, waddle into their closet, dust off a tube top from the year 2007, mm -hmm. and pollute our local drinking holes. Yes. That's what they do. Yes. 
It's it's I I would say the celebrities have a, something to do with it. A lot of the baseball player, a lot of the most handsome baseball players have very very I'd say I have to say it below average wives. Baseball players are part of the blame. Yes, there's partially to blame. I mean, you can see a lot of their face. Like, look, football players are wearing helmets the whole time. I mean, people think you know they know Tom Brady's hot because they see him all the time. But like Shaq was saying how uh, attractive he was in this clip, it was really funny. But like most women, Shaq was talking about how attractive he was. Yeah, Tom Tom uh, Brady is. Yeah, oh, he says he yeah. went out to dinner with him and he's like, God, he's a beautiful man. Well, I can't <laughs> do a Shaq. Do Shaq. What if Shaq oh, flipped no, the Shaq. table over and raped Tom Brady? Oh, oh he could. God. He could. He absolutely Easily. could. That would be a sight. Shaq's the man, kind of. He's great on pods. We should have him on ours. Hell yeah. I wish. But I don't know if this floor is strong enough to support him. <laughs> he is so big, dude. He is you times two. Literally. Like in your shoes, King. Thanks, bro. Those are pretty fucking dope. The feelers. We need to sort this issue out. Mm -hmm. I forget how we even went down this cul-de-sac. We were this talking happens. about these mid-bitches, fives and below. Oh, God. Dating all these swag and pimping dudes yeah. and how they're fucking up the market. Yeah. Because I'll tell you what, and I didn't mention this earlier, that same bitch, right? Uh -huh. She'll call King Croc up. Oh, we're done. I don't like the way you talk to me. Because yeah. Because she saw that motherfucker. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. with... A whale. Yeah. Right. We need to do she, something. She deserves more. It, it, we need to do men. Our new organization. And Austin, could you turn our headphone audio up a little bit? We're, we're not really reading too high in our headphones. Yeah. It's got to be men against drunken after hours hookups. That's the problem, Leo. We should stop it. We, in fact, that could be a, a Danny Mullen video. We we go around around yes. two a.m. Yes. Now between actually, let's get started. One forty-five. Yeah. Or we could. Yeah. One forty-five is good, but we can last get call. the early birds. We, we start at last bird. call. Okay. There we go. We start at last call and we stop hookups. Yes. That don't. That shouldn't be. Yeah. It's it's got to be men against last call long shots. Mm -hmm. We <laughs> used to call it shots. when we were in San Francisco, street meat. Oh. Street meat. After the lights go on, after the security guys get their flashlights out and start herding you out of the bar. Oh, the Spectrum guy's back. He knows about street meat. Of course he does. You get herded out of the bar. You spill out onto Lombard in San Francisco or to whatever street it is in Santa Monica. And you start taking swings. Three girls over here all texting, waiting for their Uber. You go, hey, ladies, anybody want to go get a hot dog? Mm. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. There are a lot of street vendors out there selling hot dogs at that hour, especially down here in Southern California. I like that. They're actually, um, it's uh, mostly Jews and Asians that are out there selling the hot dogs. Really? Mm -hmm. No, I'm joking. joking. Obviously, they're all <laughs> very Mexican. Yes. They look like they don't, not, none of them really speak English either. But And I will guarantee that if you do have one, you will shit yourself. Pretty a street intensely. hot dog. Oh, yeah. A street I, hot dog. I, it's happened. The last two street hot dogs I had, I completely uh, had, I had diarrhea the next morning. Our next partner uh, has a product that I use every day. Listen, Leo, mm -hmm. I know you're lying to me right now. What the fuck are you talking because about? Because our next product uh -huh. is the product that turns average men into Brad Pitt from Troy, a.k.a. how I'm looking right now. You are pretty shredded. And you're looking far too soft you to be so? taking Athletic Greens. Admit to the That's... camera right now you haven't taken it the past month. Admit it. Listen, he's lying. I have been taking Athletic Greens, and if you saw the thumbnail for our last video, I'm looking Shredsky. Oh, Captain that's right. Shredsky. That's right. I'm thinking about King Croc. He's Athletic like Greens. Listen, it's simple. All you motherfuckers out there, it yeah. would take a lot of money pieces and of shit. time on your part, you motherfucking Fuck you guys. motherfuckers. Buy Athletic Greens, You pussy. better buy it, you pussies. If you don't buy Athletic Greens, you're a pussy. <laughs> Listen, Leo and I are going to come to your house. <laughs> and we're all... Fuck you, Leo up and I. If you don't buy, we're gonna stage grants. a home invasion. You know the best time to invade a home? Uh -huh. Five p.m. when they're at the dinner table and they're not expecting it. Perfect. We're gonna come in with Berettas. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hold you up. Yep. We're gonna use the five finger wrench attack. That's what they call it, Leo. Mm -hmm. When you put a gun to somebody's head and you just say, "What's the code to your bank account? Drain it right now. Sell all your money to me." It's called the five dollar. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do that, but we're gonna make buy Athletic Greens. Get in shape. Do something about your sludgy, disgusting body. And then once they spend 25% of their net worth on Athletic Greens, we go and nobody gets hurt. That's right. That's what we're going to do. And why? Because it's lifestyle friendly. Whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, you know, dairy-free or gluten-free, it's all that. Contains less than one gram of sugar. Yeah. All right. No GMOs, no nasty chemicals. It costs you less than $3 a day. Liz, it would, it would take too long for you to get all the vegetables and all the right food to get all the vitamins that you need to be at your optimal performance. 
Athletic Greens will absolutely make it so much easier for you for three dollars a day yeah. for you to get to the next level of health. That's and right, listen, broke without health, you have nothing. You nothing. Without health, you have nothing. And that's serious. You want to look like me and Papa Leo over here? We're trying to stay young. Like, well, you want to look like the fucking David statue, small yeah. cock and all? <laughs> well, then get Athletic Greens, baby, because um, I take it every morning and I am fucking jacked. Yeah. And their founder is jacked, and he actually he got created. Me too? No, he didn't get me to. <laughs> what he did was create. He created it when he was experiencing a ton of gut health uh. issues, and ended up on a complicated supplement routine to recover. It cost him a hundred dollars a day. So he invented Athletic Greens for just three dollars a day, and you could yep. give, have all the same benefits that he had. That it fixes. It changed his life. I love. He created Athletic, Athletic Greens, Greens after stuff. experiencing how difficult it was to create an optimal nutrition routine. It's our King Croc knows. He carries a bag of fucking vitamins everywhere he goes. Because he can't get the optimal nutrition. Tell him the code, that. Leo. Tell these yes. broke bitches the code. Because it is the it's best. Also, Athletic Greens, it, it, dude, it's actually phenomenal. It's I got love it. Seven thousand five star reviews. Tastes think, so think about good, it. It, and it's and it, it does taste so good. good. My girlfriend and I love it. Now, um, right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's That's just right. one scoop That's and right. a cup of water every day. That's it. Just one scoop. That's right. That's Dick it. Punch. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune support and vitamin D. And I'm going to give you a free one-year supply of dick, pussy. That's right. And five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash LDS. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash LDS to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimately daily, the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Athletic Greens. We're going to stitch this together. Mm. Since the audience last heard me speak, the Spectrum guy has left, mercifully. Mm. Carlos, for some reason, we have Carlos here for you. Yeah. Who was blacked out, he now confesses, blacked out when he met us at the bar mm -hmm. in the last main channel video. Do you remember us? Yeah, well, after you texted me. Yeah. Talking to the right, microphone. Right, it really, really close, like really up in there. Yeah, I do. Hell yeah, there it is. What was his response when he texted him? Who's this? He said... Really? I, I said Who I want him food? on the pod. Now, let's see what it Let's actually read yeah, what it's he like said. You, you want to do a role play? Up, you know? sure. You're you and I'm Carlos? Sure. Uh, you want me to read you what Carlos wrote or no? Or I was going to role play it really quickly. But well, he, he texts me. I go, you free tomorrow around 5? Want to do the podcast? Who this, it's in, fool? It's in Culver City. He basically goes, hey, Leo, what video? Because I go, you killed it in the video. And he goes, hey, Leo, what video? It was actually a gay porn. Mm hmm. No, I should, I you don't remember the, the rest of that afternoon. I mean, maybe you do. Like, you, know, you do gay porn. But <laughs> his, his comeback was just saying my uh, thing. You do it, dude. All right, Carlos. I like it. All right, I'll take it. Also, would love uh, yeah, have you on the pod. And then he goes, yeah, sure. I can stop by and have a few drinks. Gave him the address. He goes, sounds good. Did you mention the drinks, or was he the first one to bring those I up? I told him that he should have a few drinks on okay. the pod. Carlos. Also, we met Carlos outside. It was very funny. He... Uh, mm -hmm. He is wearing a shirt that says "Whiskey Helps." Yes, and we uh, met I, I him. I thought it'd be funny. Yeah, like, I like it. We met him in the midst of a Jack Daniels blackout. He's currently holding a bottle of Jack Daniels. Actually, it's down there on the ground. I'm not holding. Thank it, you for yeah. buying ice for him, by the way, Leo. <laughs> of course, not very economical with your no. oh, size of well your choice. Yeah, of, of course. Size. Smart and Final only had one size, Danny. I could have probably just gone to the Thai restaurant and maybe asked them for some ice. It's probably, probably would have been the better though. Exactly. So, you know, but uh, I asked Carlos, hey, you like Jack Daniels, don't you? And he's like, I sort of like whiskey, mm -hmm. sort of like as if I had no clue. Well, he just wants to be a classy man because he means Jack Daniels is kind of like the poor man's whiskey. You know what I mean? Well, you I know, said you'd have a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue, but I don't know, dude. Yeah, I, I didn't read that till later by accident. <laughs> I like that, Leo. That's, nice. yeah, I love, that's how like, that needs to I be mean, our I, I, policy. I could have brought my own. Bottle Shut up, Carlos. <laughs> that needs to be our policy for suckering in guests. Uh -huh. Whatever we can actually offer them, just multiply it by six. Yeah, there we go. How many downloads does your podcast get? Ask some OnlyFans girl. Mm. Eh, hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand on a good day. Are you guys yeah. going to pay me? Yeah, yeah, we could pay you. Well, if we multiply how much we actually pay them by six, it would still be zero. <laughs> yeah. So we can't really lie about that. We one. can't lie about that. We can't lie about that. To get back, just to wrap everything no up, Carlos, stupid. we're coming back to you, Carlos. I'm psyched you're fucking here, buddy. Carlos, thanks for coming, my man. Just Appreciate to wrap it. everything up with our little fucking tangent we went on. Mm -hmm. Street meat chicks. Mm -hmm. Good looking guys like you when you were broke. You know what? Austin, Dino. You guys are the kind of guys that routinely inflate 
not qualified women's egos too. And I was thinking about this while oh, we were on our little hurt. intermission. It's like, it's like you know those signs you see out in the country: "Do not feed horses." Yeah. <laughs> whenever you reach over, whenever you're out walking your spaniel, mm -hmm. and you reach over a horse fence with a handful of carrots. Contraband carrots. Mm -hmm. Whenever you do that, what you're doing is you're breaking down the discipline in that animal. Damn it, you're right. I have been one of the ones. I mean, I've actually fed horses that were in, you know, that were owned by other people, and they were the carrots were purchased at like a Seven Eleven. I've done that. Yeah, so we well, should stop in, doing in that. Life, in life, I've because, also done that with my penis. I guess that you have because I've, I've offered my carrot. Yeah. To I, horses, uh, heavy ones, Clydesdales. <laughs> I was confused for a second which metaphor was which, and I was like, you face-fucked a horse? <laughs> Metaphorically. <laughs> but Metaphorical. when you feed those horses illicitly over the fence, when you go, here you go, come here, buddy. We Got a little granola for you. The problem is then when the master comes out, the lesbian with the helmet and the tight pants, and she starts cracking the whip, the horse is going to be like, fuck you, bitch. I'm not jumping over a barrel. Mm. Fucking Leo the Tavio, Danny Mullen. Austin Schlosser came by just a few hours ago King and gave Croc. me dick for free. Right. Oh, and yeah, you know when I'm we're right. out on the streets, when good-looking <laughs> oh, guys are out there on the streets giving dick mm -hmm. to horse-faced women, mm -hmm. it breaks down their discipline similarly. It breaks down their internal thought process about where they rank in society. You're absolutely right. And that's right. an issue. I don't right. Know, and now dude. I really want to know. I really want to know what Carlos thinks about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. What is your theory on that? What do you think? Well, Fuck. I'll, fucking I'll, ugly chicks. He did miss a lot. I wasn't to be listening, fair. dude. Damn, Carlos. This guy would make a great improv partner. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, we were saying like that when a good-looking guy like yourself goes out there, picks up a chick, yeah. bangs her, that's kind of ugly. Yeah. Are you maybe giving her a false sense that she can marry a guy like you? Yeah. Because you fuck with her like that. Like, I, don't I, know. I like how over and over it was reiterated to Carlos that he needed to speak directly into the microphone. Oh. Into the mic. My bad. Over My bad. bad. Foot away All right, go, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now that's nice. That's nice right there. Yeah. You were saying? No, Carlos. So, you just you got to stop banging such ugly chicks, dude. Is what we're saying. Ah, that's your job in the group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? I to love that? it, dude. I love it. He's a boomerang. I love He's a it, boomerang. dude. boomerang. Right back, Carlos. No, but, uh, Carlos, hey, have you I'll ever? I'm fucking ugly chicks. Like, have you? Out of all of us, hey, Carlos. He's fucking ugly Carlos. <laughs> well, I want to try the boomerang effect some more. Carlos, you're yeah. poor. Oh, maybe I am, bro. <laughs> Except nah, that one. A homeowner. Carlos, <laughs> Carlos, you're gay. <laughs> maybe I am, bro. Nah, damn. Now, now he's taking now it. It's, now it's, now, now it's, he's taking it. Now it's all sticking. Carlos, you're a hopeless drunk. I don't know. Carlos, you're supposed to just bat it all back at me. I thought that was just say, just say that Danny, may, maybe you are. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that, that hit yeah. me. I was like, fuck, maybe I am. <laughs> maybe, maybe that did. Hit me. Maybe we're gonna change a man's life. Well, look, Carlos, have you ever had sex with? Many have tried to change me. This doesn't work, bro. All right, get some more, get some more eyes, get some more eyes. Just we gotta stay on the topic real quickly yeah, though yeah, of yeah. the show. Yeah, we've already established that guys gotta right. stop going out there and putting their penises in subpar women. Also, oh, King Croc. Fired, right? I just that's why he got fired, right? Yeah, there were some subpar women oh. involved. I just, I just remembered King Croc, though, that you tried to pick up a homeless girl when we were in San Diego. <laughs> what was what he doing? No. So we're no, at a no, gas no. station on the Austin way back. Knows what I'm talking it's 11 p.m. Oh, God. We're somewhere between San Diego and Los Angeles. I'm trying to get everybody in the car so I can get home and go to bed. Everybody's blacked out. Mm -hmm. I still feel like a zookeeper. Mm -hmm. I'm still hurting. <laughs> Bonaroos, Bonobos, what are the fucking monkeys? Bonobos, Bonobos. I'm still hurting Bonobos, Whoa. it feels like. Mm -hmm. And B King Cro oh, um. oh, yeah, B I know. Oh, um. yeah. So King Croc's out there I'm talking sorry. to I'm a girl kidding. with, like, lipstick smeared all over her face, a sideways Spitfire hat. Oh, God. And her, like, her, her shirt pulled up to here and just all this fat, overly tan, leathery skin hanging out. Overly tan as in I live outside overly tan? Overly tan as in <laughs> I sleep on the beach and I sleep in or I stay passed out until noon. Until noon where it's almost like she's a different shade now. She's 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 evolved. She's evolved. Her skin's evolved. She looks like the couch in your dad's den. There we go. It's it's weathered. It's maybe stained a little bit. Yeah. No, I think so. Here, here's the reality, guys. I would not have banged her. Nothing would have went forward in that interaction. Mm. I was simply... Out in the field, if you get what I mean. I was, you know, getting experience. I was getting XP. I he told growing. me his quote when I asked him just what in the hell he was doing when he came back in the van was, 
I was gathering data. <laughs> True. He said he was yeah. gathering data. You could say you're getting a rep, but sure. I mean, <laughs> we all don't believe that you wouldn't have slept with her, though. I feel no like way. I would say 99% of women in the world can come up to you and say, hey, I'd love to bend over for you over there in that closet right now. Would you come give it to me from behind? No, they got to be clean. <laughs> you know, they got to be. Yeah. No, no, boy's got standards. He has standards. <laughs> oh, some real shit, bro. Like. I've been in the gutter the before. It's not worth it. Really but you were talking we to some bum chick outside, though. Like, you know? yeah. Yeah. yeah, Carlos is no, referring no, to no. a homeless woman. Leo mm -hmm. paid King. Let's just say it. Leo paid King Croc $20 to go get a homeless woman's number outside. Yeah. <laughs> About five minutes that. ago. We could actually... I wish Austin had airdrops so I could send this footage, but I actually have footage of it. Mm -hmm. Well, Look. continue, continue. I just, I just want everyone to know I wouldn't actually do that. But you recorded this that? This is for entertainment. Yeah, I recorded that. Yeah. Entertainment yeah, purposes. He, he wants to go rights. and look for her after, so. Mm -hmm. Who did I, I did? Uh, I went no, I went to go see if the chick was still there. Yeah. I was going to try myself. Oh, I thought he was trying to burn you. No, nah, I was gonna try it myself. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't looking for her after. He was trying to get a blowjob in the parking nah, lot. I was. He said she was bad. I was like, I, I, was like, I thought oh. she was a pretty solid bomb. I don't know. And I might have uh, offered. I would have maybe just been like, "Hey, do you want to give me a blowjob and see what happens?" You think she's a bum eight? I think she's a bum eight. I think she's a bum nine. The have you seen the bums crazy. recently? Yeah, they've been getting bad. bad. Yeah. And bad. the 1999 bums were kind of cute. Yeah. There was one that looked like Posh Spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were just like drunkards. Not as yeah. much in the maybe heroin addicts, but heroin, like you look at guys have done heroin for a long Anthony time. Anthony Kiedis, Dave Navarro. Fine. Great looking guys. Dave yeah. Navarro? What? Yeah, he used to do heroin. Dave Navarro did a bunch of heroin, No, dude. Dave Navarro's a military expert, a real straight laced kind of guy. Ooh, he's, got a, he he's got a split personality, this guy. But he, he did, did heroin? And he played but, guitar in Jane's Addiction, too. Listen, he fucking put that rubber band, that rubber thing around his fucking thing, but his vein was popping. And then he, he, called in, he called in an artillery strike while he was shooting up, too. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, did. Dude. I don't know which Dave Navarro you're talking about. Okay, Let's get okay. to the real offender what happened, of the weekend. Swolby One Kenobi. Doesn't surprise me. Swolby One Kenobi. You can't take him anywhere. Leo. I think he should be vlogging like that on his own channel. He should go to be the destructive uh, guy. That'd be great. He was too drunk, however, to operate a camera. Wow. I mean, he, during this trip, I really felt like the parent that has the screaming baby on the Southwest flight. Damn. That's what so, I felt and like. Swoby was a screaming baby. I mean, in size, yes. very similar to a baby. <laughs> it's only like, multi if you multiply a baby by two or three, uh -huh. it's Swoby, right? It's, just, it's like, whoop. It's like little baby. It's like, whoop. That's, it's almost Swoby. Then one more, whoop. That's Swoby. We've got the uh, same appendages and the whole. I just, the image popped into my head of Swolby in a bonnet and a diaper with a rattle. That's incredible. Sprinting out of a hospital you and you dressed as a doctor chasing after him <laughs> going, get back here. Come on, with back a, here with a big syringe, a comically large fake syringe. Sounds pretty fun. Let's get him on the phone right now, Austin. Can we give him a call? Do we have his number stored? I just want to explain to the, uh, some of the fans. If you don't know who Swolby is, he's a part of the channel. He is a. I still haven't set up the the internet guy. Just left. I still don't have internet in here. Ah, damn it. Well, so I mean, I do. Just call I him from our phone. Up, I guess. So now, just call him from but... here and do the yeah. do this. Wait, who's who's Swolby? Swolby. So to Carlos and to some people yeah, that yeah. might have just tuned in for the first time. Thanks for asking. Yeah, thanks for asking, uh, Carlos. Yeah. Swolby is a. He's five foot three, and he's a weightlifter. But he happens to be very, very good because he's one of the best in his weight class. So he's like yeah. a, I would say one of the best weightlift top ten in the United this States. This is legit, bro. You're not. This is no, legit. This is All right. So you can look up. at his. Yeah, yeah he's <laughs> a record, dude. He's okay. got some. He's got some uh, California right. records. Okay. okay, okay. I just anyway, sure, and then, yeah. and then he also bro. then we've made him fuck a prostitute for a YouTube video, which is pretty funny. We you took made him, him. Yeah. Well, he yeah. wanted fuck to at gunpoint. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we forced him to have sex with a prostitute in a... This guy, uh, he's like a weightlifting champion. Yeah, he's like a weightlifting champion. He's he didn't little, fuck you up. He could probably in wrestling. Yeah, he could, probably. Did you tell Carlos how tall he is, though? I said 5'3". Five, three, 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 ba three yeah. babies. Leo, I yeah. want to start a gang. Yeah? I want to start a gang mm -hmm. where me and my boys patrol the streets on mopeds and beat the dog shit out of anybody who doesn't shave their pubes. I love that. You like that? Yes. Because honestly, it's grotesque. It is. I don't like seeing the bums out there whipping their cocks out mm -mm. when they haven't been using Manscaped oh. like a civilized person. 
Manscaped.com yes. has been in Los Angeles mm-hmm. dropping the lawnmower 4.0 yes. out of helicopters. Performance package 4.0. To the homeless population yes. to get their junk in order. It's yes. spring! You need the lawnmower 4.0, bummies. It, it's spring cleaning, baby. Oh. Not just of your apartment, of your homeless encampment, but of your fucking Dick and balls. Yes. An asshole. Yes. The, the Look, listen, you know the 4.0 trimmer yeah. uh, has the most precise shave on your hedges, by It is boy. a great nut trimmer, Leo. It's great. All time. It's good. I like the LED light on it, honestly. Have you guys seen that LED light on it? It's nice. Would you call it the Babe Ruth of cock trimmers? Yes. And I would call it the, the Sultan of SWAT. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Now, you gotta, look, you got to clear your holes and smell the spring in the air with the weed whacker, yeah, buddy. Yeah. That thing, the nose and ear, as I'm getting older, the nose and the ear hairs, yep. they're going wild. Absolutely. So I need that thing. You Personally, like I love You've got it. mops hanging out of the side of your head sometimes. you got so much ear hair. I know. It's embarrassing. And you got to go in there. And you got to clean it out. Thankfully, Manscaped provides the perfect tools for reaching up into those yeah. nostrils. And they got the proprietary skin-safe technology. They got it's it. Nice. Yeah, their it's legal nice. team, it's mm-hmm. been going after people who try to take up that fucking skin-safe technology. And then what do you do, buddy? All you need, all you get left is when you have a clear palate, yep. you got to put a little scent on it. Yes. You know what I mean? You're, you're so talking for about me, yeah, the crop preserver, oh, buddy. Oh, my God. It's nice. Oh, it's my an God. anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. It's great for if you're working a physical job mm-hmm. when we're out there on shoots. All day. Not only am I using my Manscaped deodorant, my Manscaped chapstick, love it. Mm-hmm. I'm putting on that ball preserver, and I'm yep. keeping these things chafe-free. And then we got, of course, the Reviver spray-on toner for your balls as well. The really nice. Oh, you spray, they get tone, mm-hmm. and you don't even have to go to the gym. Because your nuts are already toned. Now, this is big for our fucking guys, all of the boys following us. Listen, the start of spring is also marks the start of Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, Mm -hmm. guys. That's kind of big, all right? In April, Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to bring awareness to testicular cancer. That means touch your balls, all right? If you feel any lumps, go to the doctor. Men's health and early cancer detection is important. All right, so Manscaped is committed to raising awareness for the most common form of cancer in men ages 15 to 35, which is a lot of you. Yeah. Mostly after 18, though. I don't know if we have a lot of 15-year-olds following us, but if you do, whatever, you know? Yeah. If you're 15 and you're following us, I hope you die of testicular cancer. Jesus Christ, you sick son of a bitch. Listen, um, and, and they're part of the We Save Balls initiative, which is huge. So listen, get 20% off plus free shipping with the code 20 lds at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping <clears throat> with the code 20LDS at manscaped.com. It's time to throw out your old hygiene habits and upgrade your life. You're part of the We Gargle Balls initiative. You <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah, so Swolby. It's like, whoop, whoop. It's Swolby. Swolby, I'm here to talk to you about your antics on Saturday. What's up, my fellow blacks? How much do you remember <laughs> from the night? Barely. I barely remember shit. Mm-hmm. I just remember calling some dude a fag. Of course. I remember heckling somebody. Oh, God, he heckled well, somebody? So far, heroics. I mean, he remembers calling somebody a slur, and he remembers heckling somebody. Heckling is like the worst thing you could do. Let me, let me clear all of this up. I'm going to explain the whole entire night. So, King Croc, we get there. Ryan Long meets us outside. Ryan Long, sweet YouTuber, friend of the channel, really cool guy. Check out his channel. He has us down, agrees to comp our entire van. So we're all coming through. He says to me, though, as we're rolling into the venue, hey, dude, if you want to put one of these guys on stage to open for me, we'll give him three minutes. Which I, as you can probably imagine, Leo, Mm -hmm. start getting a little erect. Mm-hmm. Because my favorite thing to do yes. is make our crew perform. Yes. Is it going to be Nico? I thought about it. He wasn't blacked out. He's sober, and I know he's just going to go up there and do Nico. the first joke. Boring. Which I've seen a bunch of times. Sober Nico is worthless. Is it going to be Austin? Who will hop be. on the stage. Could be the right audience would like him. It, the right audience, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> the alt right audience. Because right. he's going to start talking about eugenics right. and repealing women's right to vote. Yeah, his first joke just, is yeah, going to be misogynistic as shit. And, first, right off the bat. And yeah. that's just going to cause a stir. Right. Moving down the list, we got Fan Jerry. Mm. Fan Jerry has, has done stand up recently, but the problem is he takes it too seriously. Mm-hmm. He doesn't really have the ability yet to laugh at himself. 
And I'm not going to say that Fan Jerry isn't allowed to go do stand-up and he's got no future, but he's taken his career much too seriously right now for what it is and it's probably just going to be some very lukewarm comedy if he gets on the mic right and he's still we're still going to try to get him to blow someone for a spot at a comedy club of course so we can't just give him a free spot shit. we don't want to waste our bits we can't just give him a free spot well i decide that king croc over here mm-hmm. leo you and i have been working with him a lot mm-hmm. on his african oh. bit his african bit is we're polishing it slowly we practice it on the uh, patreon pod and look it's strong. Right up. Solby over there. It's, it's strong. His African bit I'm, is... I'm coming back to you, Solby. One second. His African bit is one of the strongest av- uh, bits that I've seen anyone do right off the bat. Dude, it's, it's an incredible... Like, your father speaks with that accent, or how did you pick it oh, up yeah. so well? Okay, so yeah, your yeah. father speaks... You grew up around it. You basically can morph your, yourself into that African character, and it's funny. King Croc gets up there, and he talks about... Well... Whatever an African oligarch, no, mm. an African king would talk about. Dude, did he, that's oh the character. God. He gets up there. Instead of dogs and cats, he's got hippos and giraffes. Instead oh. of running a big five sporting goods, he runs a diamond mine. Oh, come on. Instead of hiring some local community college students and one or two creepy 60 year old men who are probably pedophiles yeah. his entire labor force carlos you got to not have conversations privately on the couch when oh, okay. we're doing this all right man, man. what are you man. asking him i'm curious now i was like what are you saying he's who are you comparing he said mm. what Never he's mind. asking who he's where he was staying yeah <laughs> he lives uh it's a free were, you, over were you actually just asking king croc where he lives yeah no 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 why would i do that <laughs> No, where are was. you staying? What does where are you staying mean? No, I like, I like, what are you talking about? What is uh, he talking about? Oh, okay. Is it the word choice? Is it the the night that I'm talking <laughs> about? Or are you confused? Another great radio <laughs> habit over there. What are you confused about, Carlos? Please clear it up. I'm not confused. I was just asking him what's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, let's continue. Yeah. Okay. We'll get we'll get to. Carlos. I don't know what to say. We're gonna we, we gotta get, get back to we're gonna you know get to the bottom. Right. We're gonna get to the bottom. You're the writer, of the bro. You should know what to say. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Shut, shut. He flipped it back on you. <laughs> Did it again. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. All right. Hey. Swoby one can help. No, no, we're talking about King Croc. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Yeah. King Croc gets up there and he does his African bit. Stop. Or his plan is to get up there and do the African bit. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Hey, bro. What is that? You got. Uh, Carlos, why are you asking him? And also, Leo just explained it. No, I don't remember. I'm I was. Sorry. Pro- I think I was in the process of explaining it actually when you cut me off. <laughs> was, there's hippo. African bit. Okay, so the when when here's why it's funny because when people do black characters, they're usually like, "Oh, sup, fool? I'll pop a cap in your ass, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I drive a right. Cadillac. Okay, I'm a hip hop star. That's right. usually the black character. Okay, but." Another black stereotype is, have you seen the movie Coming to America? Yeah, of course. Dude. Eddie Murphy's dad. <laughs> mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy's dad. Just a super rich fucking African guy. I got guy. the Coming to America kicks, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know what that means. Oh, the, the shoes, bro. The shoes that he has. So, like, the uh, there's shoes that he makes sometimes, like, like for movies. Mm-hmm. What? You know? Let's continue. You know? Leo just Carlos dismissed. Carlos is fucked up. The Leo the just futures, dismissed Carlos with America's. a wave on his head. Carlos really? is getting hammered on Jack, and I love Wait, it, dude. You guys don't know about kicks? You guys don't know about kicks? Yeah, we got some yeah, kicks, yeah. dude. You don't know about kicks, though. When I just said that, you were like, what the fuck? What are the kicks? Tell us. No, like shoes, you know? The, yeah, the, yeah, of course. To yeah, yeah. Shoes. I don't know what shoes are. Yeah, what are wait, what are shoes? Nah, bro. <laughs> You're playing games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm bugging, fool. Wait, wasn't, bugging, wasn't the guy in fucking wasn't the guy in the Salton Sea named Carlos too? I'm pretty sure. You guys actually. are bugging. You no, I'm about to bugging. beat your shit in. Yeah, right there? Carlos, dude. Yeah, you know the guy I just met. His name's Carlos too. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> too many Carloses. Yeah. No. All right. King Croc. We decide he's gonna go to the African bit and just talk about <laughs> his child soldiers and his wealth <laughs> and how he flies out hot American girls and fucks them and oh pays them a hundred grand round trip your life, for right? the trip. Three minutes. Dude, he oh, fucking. Man. Right I there. assume he's going to walk up there. And, and Ryan and I were talking about this. We're like, he's going to get up there and start talking like his. What was your character name again? Tunde Baba. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to say he's Tunde Baba oh and start God. talking about hippos. And everybody's going to turn on him and nobody's going to get it. Well, King Croc, without any coaching at all, uh-huh. puts a frame around the character. Where he starts saying that his uncle's name is Tunde Baba. Oh my and God. King Croc's up there cold as fucking 
Ice Leo. No. It looked like he had been doing stand up for 15 years. He gets up, he's like, Sh- shit. You guys, you guys think you know black people down here in San Diego? You don't know fucking black people. You and he might have leaned on the N word a little bit. That's you don't okay. know. I definitely like, dropped a nigga. He's like, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm Nigerian. <laughs> My uncle, Tunde Baba, this is a different kind of cat. No. And then he starts launching into the routine. People are fucking dying. Oh, well, yes, dude. Like us, dude. dude it's but, so funny. But it wasn't just meatheads uh-huh. like you and I uh-huh. with potty humor swirling around our brains. It was a paying comedy crowd, a packed house, and he was fucking murdering him, murdering them on his first time doing stand-up ever. That's insane. Dude. It was hey, really crazy. You got a spot on my show, buddy. Next time I do it at HaHa. You should. You should oh, absolutely yeah, sure. put him He's up. He's in. He's in. Uh, yeah. You need to put him up. Oh, you're, you're on. Swolby, back to you. You still there? Make sure yeah, they pay you, bro. Still here. Are you drinking Jack Daniels too? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <sighs> that, the last thing I need is another drunk Latino. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> At least my name's not Carlos. It's Swolby. Yeah, well, fuck him too, you know? <laughs> yeah, fuck this guy. Swolby. Yeah. When we were watching Ryan Long set, Ryan tell, Long tell him came to come up, through. Tell him to come through. Hey, come through, yeah, Swolby, come through, please. Bro. It would make Carlos really happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swolby. Let's go. Swolby is sitting. <laughs> against the bar with us. We're at the very back of the club. Ryan Long's doing his hour. It's basically all new material because he just released a YouTube special. It's great stuff. Everybody's having a good time except for Dino and Austin because Dino doesn't need, doesn't know he needs to bring identification to places. Yes. Oh, yeah. We, we had to whisk Croc through. Nice. King Croc, start bringing your wallet places, dude. Be an yeah. adult. All right. Swolby. I got you, bro. In the middle of a Ryan Long punchline, <laughs> Ryan Long did a bit, for instance. It was a pretty fucking good bit. It was like, what? The, the thing that's going to be fucking crazy now is that racist dudes in prison that have pride tattooed across their chest, 15 years ago, that meant something totally different. Oh, shit. Now it's going to get those guys in trouble. They're going to be walking around shirtless. Guys are going to start hitting on them, and the guys are going to have to go, no, I'm not gay. I'm racist. <laughs> or something was his bit. It was not good. Bad, I, yeah. Swolby's just like... Boo, fuck you. It's fucking weak, dude. No. And it was it was a fully automatic burst of heckling. No. It wasn't one heckle sprinkled in every three minutes. It was, boo, you suck. You fucking mid, bro. This comedy's mid. Fuck you. No way. Uh, two poppy mu- my va- what? He did the two poppy muñeño? <laughs> fuck you, dude. Swobie, don't you dare ever do the two poppy muñeño. I hate that guy. So, me too. Me too. I fucking hate that guy. Hate that guy. He's a fucking. If I saw her, saw punch that motherfucker. Hey, hey, Swabby, hey, Swabby, knock, mm-hmm. knock that guy Swabby, out. Swabby, say your say your special spell to oh, Carlos man. right now. I beat the brakes off that motherfucker, bro. Yeah. <laughs> say it, Swabby. You, you want me to like say it in Spanish? Yeah, say your yeah, thing yeah, 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 about yeah. sucking dick. Do you speak Spanish? Yeah, he does. Well, listen. <laughs> See. Hey, chupa mi verga, no sirves, way. He said uh, that, that to you, That was, like, Carlos. really muffled. He's like, he doesn't speak Spanish at all. I don't know. <laughs> He's he calling said, you uh, a fake. I'll, I'll say, I'll say, he I, uh, said, uh, he, I'll say he, it again for he you. Wants, he, said. he wants to order something, I think. He's uh, tacos de verga. Tacos de verga? Tell oh, him he okay. wants to. So he, he heard wanted, it. He heard it. Tell him he wants it, bro. <laughs> he says you wanted to order some tacos, tacos de, verga? de verga, which it's, basically uh, means it's some it's tacos made of cock. Top. Top quality tacos, bro. Top quality tacos. Yeah, yeah, he wants that for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, so there we go. Carlos with a boomerang strategy. Mm-hmm. Swolby, why were you heckling Ryan Long, who's a friend of this channel? He's a friend of Brooks, too. Brooks and I both had to rush over and shut Swolby up. It took me two attempts to get Swolby to stop heckling Ryan Long. <laughs> Jesus. It's embarrassing. A full comedy club. That's that, full. That that's came out really to see embarrassing. Ryan. That's really embarrassing. After he copped Swolby a ticket, he copped Swolby's ticket. That's so weird. What were you thinking, Swolby? Okay, I was I was drunk, very drunk, near blacked out drunk. Is that it? Whoa! Uh, It's fucking loud, bro. This is this is it was bound to happen. We're animals. I'm an animal. Swolby can't contain myself. Swolby, the the shadow Swolby was unleashed. Swolby. Is it possible that when you get very drunk, you have something of a Napoleon complex? Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, you don't even know who Swolby is. <laughs> well, we explained it to him. But I doubt he remembers. Really Swolby, is that possible? Yeah. It's very possible. Explain to him what a wait, Napoleon complex is. Wait, let, he's going to defend himself here. Swolby, what were you saying? 
I was blacked, all right? Not like the porno kind, but mm. blacked out off the fucking juices. And I never met juices, juices, juices. Don't know else. his comedy. <laughs> I don't know anything about the guy. You said his comedy was mid, which is a very offensive thing to say. Really? Why? And that's my honest <laughs> truth. After listening to this comedy set, which I thought was going to be 15 minutes. I thought there was going to be other comedians. Mention one uh, joke he said. I don't know, something about dildos or something. I can't remember the best stuff. No, the guy before him had the dildo bit. This guy, Heavy, who's actually an L.A. comic, had a bit about a dildo up a girl's ass while you're fucking her. You're confusing <laughs> bits with funny. comics. You heckled the wrong guy. <laughs> oh, that's what I remember. And then King Croc's African stuff, and then that's... So honestly, I just, uh, I gave you my honest truth, and, uh, yeah, that's how it is. All right, Swolby. Well, I can't hold it against you. As I told Leo at the top of the show, I am at the end of the day a zookeeper. Mm. Swolby, you know, I, you've always been very well behaved at my comedy club, so I'm shocked to hear such things. Leo might have you 86th. Yeah, Blacklisted. You can't come to the haha anymore. Damn. Yeah. No, you're, you're, listen, you can come and try to get some pussy at the haha. -ha, that's fine. It's always welcome. Hell yeah. It's always All right, Swolby. Well, there's a happy ending there. Just try to watch your drinking when we're watching friends of the channel perform and they let you in for free and we're all having a good time. Try to hold off on the racial slurs. Yes. Or excuse me, the homophobic slurs. Yeah. And the, <laughs> the requests that people suck your penis in Spanish. Just yeah. try to hold off on those. Wait, uh, I'll, uh, oh, wait. I'll do my best. That's all. That's all. Okay. all right, yeah. Solby, we gotta go. Carlos has something to say. Thank you, Solby, for calling it. Wait, what's that, Carlos? We just get off off the mics and all that. Shit. Why? Why do we have to cool the mics? Can you what's just going turn on? It off real quick? No, we can't. What happened? Uh, no, wait, you gotta go pee. Why, man? You got a bathroom back there. If you need to pee. Uh, Is there too much dick it sucking? Turns it all off. It just turns it all off. Turns it all off. Wait, 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 I gotta go pee. Yeah, no, no. Could no. Just go pee, and then when you come back, you're good. Just join the couch again. Is that the issue? Do you actually have to piss, or are you put no, off by all the cocksucking talk? I'm just trying talk? to like, talk to you guys. Look, 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 they like it when you're honest. Huh? Yeah, we want to hear this. Yeah. Honest shit. All right, man. Like, so this is all shit about me. Like, like, no, uh, that was about. That was uh, Carlos. My bad. I like fucked up. You know? Car Carlos, no, 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 you really no, no, no. on Saturday night. You really were screwing up with the heckling, though, man. Heck did you heckle? You? Yeah, why did. were you heckling the comedian? I don't understand why you were doing that. Saturday? When? When we were at the comedy show. You what? I didn't go, bro. Yes. Yeah, you well, you said it was all about bro. you, and you're right. It was you all mean, about you. It was at Universal City Walk. Oh my bad, bro. It was you right after. Remember it all? You don't I remember? remember shit, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. Oh, like my girl uh, came back, bro, and she was fucking mad as fuck. Yeah. Bro. Really? Dude, bro, after what you did. Do you remember how long we were hanging out? I fucking remember shit, dog. Dude, dude, what? We were hanging oh, out for gosh. two fucking hours. I was there after waiting for we her cut. for like four hours, bro. Like, yeah, bro, well, we and went. Then after you guys left, they cut me off at all the bars. And they fucking like phoned it in. Like, oh, you can't do it. Dude, you told, you told Dane Cook he had a small cock. Yeah. Nah, bro. Like, I just like, I remember that. Like, I was chilling with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then I was fucking cut off the whole park, bro. I had yeah. Go, I had to go inside to drink. No way. Yeah. Fuck. No, well, after you got <sighs> cut so off, sad. we circled back for you. Uh, I hit you up, bro. I told you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told you I could get you in. And, and, yeah. we, I told and you guys went like, you know, food, whatever that shit. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You I, were like, I, I had you guys. Had and then you no, did no, that to, you did that you to the like, bouncer. If you want me to, like, get you in or food yeah, or yeah, drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I had you in the park. And that's what you were saying. And then you took us over to Dingleberry's Comedy Club because you had the plug there. No, bro. took off. He said before the Carlos bomb goes off. No, I mean, you. we circled back, though, dude. After we got kicked out, you just told us that this was all about you. No, nah, because I know that I remember that I... What the fuck? No, I Did you go... I, you literally forgot. You're a heckler. You black, dude. I remember I went... My girl's pissed, dude. You disrupt shows. Oh, dude, my bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Listen, uh, we forgive you, though, Carlos, and we still love you. Carlos. Yeah. That's why we brought you here, man. Yeah. That's why we were just on the phone with you. Yeah. We just want to sort out this issue. I'm just fucking drunk as fuck, and I was like, "Dude, these niggas are tripping, bro." You know what? <laughs> yeah, we're dude. tripping a little bit. <laughs> yeah, because we're, we're just, tripping. We got the right to trip. Come at me like that, though, you know. You know what? Sorry, I'm man. We come at me like that. Let me know you come at me like that. That way, you're like, "Oh, that's cool, bro." Hey, Leo, now, Leo, we keep coming at that, though, bro. Like, we, I, like, if you come at me, bro, like, I might just fucking knock you out, bro. You know? Yeah, yeah, no, I get oh, it, dude. Yeah, man. Nah, I fucking, I'll knock your ass out, bro. Oh, Carlos, no, I don't know that guy, but yeah, definitely you, bro. Carlos, we don't, we're lovers here. We're not fighters. Carlos, I just, but tell me, bro. Tell me, tell me. I'm a guy. Be real, my boy. Be real. I don't hold my tongue, dude. Be real. Be real. All right, so he's being real. When Be you were real, heckling bro. 
at the comedy club. Yeah. Give it a book. He didn't like it, but I we like still. It. But like, the, uh, people make mistakes, and yeah. we still like you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I still won't knock your ass out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm well, you just fucking keep going there, bro. I'm, I will. I'm just a real ass <laughs> about the comedy club. You know? <laughs> so I don't fucking know you, you know. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm fucking real, Carlos. I'm fucking real. He's a real guy. So, my bad, my bad, my bad. That's Car- why, like, maybe, maybe I mean, maybe I can't be you wrong, but it doesn't matter if I'm blacked out or not. Yeah, yeah. I know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, that's I right. Just, I wear my heart you on know my exactly sleeve. Going you were on. like, bro, take this fucking note, man. So no, shut up your ass, my boy. I'm just a street motherfucker. I'm just saying, bro. Like, yeah. No, but niggas know what you're talking about. Fucking keep it real, my boy. Like, I'm trying, bro. I will see you after this. I'll knock your ass out, bro. 116 percent. I fucking know you. I don't give a fuck about you. I throw, baby. That's real Let's shit. Let's go there. You want this smoke? Let's go, my boy. <laughs> I got in three fades nah, today. Let's go, my boy. Hey, we whiskey's not supposed to make us violent. It's supposed to make nah, us nah, peaceful. Nah, nah, nah. He's coming at me like that, though. No, dude. Nah, he's yeah, just, he is, bro. Listen, it, fucking around. Just, listen, they call us. Call around, call then tell let me, me. Let me explain it. Let me explain something. Then tell to you. me, bro. If you you have your who's your favorite comedian? I don't have a comedian. I don't watch all that shit. I don't he don't heckles them all off the stage. I would say, do you like George Lopez? He's pretty good. I don't fucking watch that, like anything, bro. Like I don't do shit, bro. Like what I know what I do. I drink. I love that shit, dude. I fucking That's drink. A of sorts. I like to be active. I play softball. I get after it sometimes, oh, Danny Boy. Softball, wow. Well, you're doing jujitsu. You're a jiu-jitsu. natural Olympian. You're an asshole. There's a lot of sprints, and it's hot out there, and I need liquid IV because you know what, buddy? Softball and beers go together like peas and carrots, and I'm getting hammered out you there. You got peas and carrots? Peas and carrots go together very nice. Are you a Russian peasant? No, I, I actually I borrowed that from Forrest Gump, and people that have watched Forrest Gump know that. And Forrest, he would have been a guy that would love liquid IV. And I, 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 might, I get a workout, get my blood rushing. Maybe I jerk off, clear the pipes. I put yeah. a liquid IV in my fucking pocket because I know at the end of the night, if I hit that li- liquid IV, I'm going to feel good. So Forrest Gump would benefit from liquid IV. I think so, Danny. When yes. he was in Vietnam, Lieutenant Dan, I think I see you, Charlie. Mm-hmm. You think he would kill the Charlie because he had liquid IV steadying his nerves? Obviously, because he would have been way, way more efficient because of all the B vitamins. Look, it contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamins. It helps you hit bombs. And? Hit bombs on the stand-up comedy stage. Yes. And kill Charlie. That's right. Mm. Now, with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks, it, it's just way more effective. And look, you can just try it. Try it. <clears throat> now, uh, it's also made with premium ingredients, non-GMO, yeah. free from gluten, dairy, and soy, which makes liquid IV so effective. The science <clears throat> of cellular transport technology, CTT, that's what's it, the, like different about it. It's made by elves. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it? It's made by elves, yeah. that's what's, They're Scandinavian elves, and they're in the Arctic Circle, and they're very precise with their mixtures in their laboratories. And also, uh, actually, this is kind of cool because I know somebody that knows their CEO personally. Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world. He hasn't been me too, has he? No, he hasn't been <laughs> me too. CEO of Le- Liquid IV has not been me too. What he has done is donate over 20 million servings globally, which is pretty fucking awesome. He uh, donates them? He donates them, yeah. 20 million servings. That's a lot of his e- inventory goes to donation. I heard, That's all he wants to do. I heard there's an entire battalion of child soldiers in Senegal that are all hopped up on liquid, liquid IV. IV. And they're so much faster, yeah. so much more effective than the other soldiers. It's almost like when the tribe found the metal meteor yeah. and they were using metal weapons versus the wood ones uh-huh. and they were just demolished. It's the same thing yeah. with L- the child listen, soldiers. Liquid IV, get hydrated when you're out mm-hmm. drinking. That's mm-hmm. all you kids need to know. Yeah, honestly, yeah, it's it's phenomenal. It re- it's so much better than Gatorade, guys. Oh my now, God. now listen, grab liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco or you can get 25% <laughs> off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code. LDS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you use promo code LDS at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration Mm -hmm. today at liquidiv.com. Promo code LDS. Hell yeah. Uh, I listen to music. Let's put the Kendrick album on, you know? Hey, Kendrick's actually... I yeah, like Kendrick, album. Bro, that's, that's, that's some okay, okay, let's, say you're, at a, you're, let's say you're at a Kendrick concert, right? Okay. Yeah. And then my boy here, you bring him as a guest. <laughs> and he starts saying, hey, Kendrick... You suck. Fuck you, Kendrick. That's like, his own been, opinion, bro. Well, you wouldn't care. But to me, that's real, bro. You know, Kendrick, your moves right. are whack. He's fucking white, you know? Yeah, I know. He can't oh, say yeah, that. You no problems, bro. Hey. Yeah. I'm yeah, that, white. That, that, that's how I'm going to truth to me. It I'm speaks, white, but my rhymes are tight. Volumes, bro. You know why? Because that shit is real. It's what, real. What is me but being like, white? Like, have, you, have you listened to it? The Kendrick album? Yeah. Have you yeah, it's a piece of shit. Yeah? Well, fuck it, though, because, like, you know, you're fucking white piece of shit. That album should be in the recycling bin at Dimple Records. 
I mean, there's str- there's, there's struggle, right and then there's like, oh, you know, it's really, I'm really struggling, bro. Listen, <laughs> listen, <now>. he's <laughs> struggling. He's struggled. He's been. I had raped. to jumpstart my car today. He got raped. Yeah, raped. Maserati. My neighbor got raped, bro. So no, like, you know? what? <laughs> Your neighbor got raped? Yeah, bro. Wow, when? Damn, bro. Like that shit was crazy. Like, yeah, they got raped by the fucking like um, you know, the fucking um. You know, parent, bro, you know, so. Oh, fuck. That's dude. fucking crazy. Yeah, so, like, you know about old rape? Like, oh, yeah, I saw it. He has I been didn't see it, but assaulted like, sexually. Been assaulted, yeah. it, it, he's been assaulted. He's, he's a like, survivor. Did, bro. It's okay. Listen, they made it. Listen, You'll make it too, listen, man. Listen, Carlos, the way he's acting, I know he's exactly. acting up right now because he's a survivor. You understand me? Well, you got raped, bro. I got raped. <laughs> Carlos. That's you, bro. How do you and I proceed from here on out? Are we going to be able to finish the podcast? Ahead. Can you guys yeah. hug it out? I love you, bro. But like, I you love gotta, you too, Carlos. Come, come, come correct. Gotta hug it out, come correct. Hey, come we correct. got. Hey, Carlos. You're going to tell me, bro. Be real, bro. Yeah. You're right. We're sorry about that, yeah, man. Yeah, you hey, fucking hey, You were heckling his favorite comic. You think I'm a fucking, like, I'm a. Dude, oh, I'm just. guys are drunk. Like, no, no. You were heckling his favorite comic. I'm drunk every fucking day, bro. I know I've said a couple things. I said that. I'm drunk every fucking day, bro. Hey, when do you start drinking, though? I'm drunk every day. That's when I wake up, bro. Really? That's sick. All right. Yeah, when I wake up. All right. And I go to work. Listen. And then I fucking come home. Oh, there's a. What water. time do you wake up? At 5 a.m. He works. I wake Damn. up at 3 a.m. and I start drinking at 4. Yeah, well, I wake up at 5 a.m. because I gotta get some sleep because I'm fucking drinking. <laughs> I don't need <laughs> <that> sleep. <shit. laughs> <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> shit. Carlos, listen. You must smoke and do cocaine or fucking crackers or something. <laughs> Whatever it takes to stay up and keep drinking. Well, you know, skinny ass white boy. <laughs> oh, I do. Oh. I'm a trapper. Nah, fuck at you, man. Fuck at you, man. Fucking with you, too, <laughs> that was that was off the yeah yeah that was one that was my bad yeah. no that was Carlos, no problem, man just careful about heckling my favorite comedians listen he was upset about he's the heckle. funnier than you stop oh. he was heckling oh. why would you say that Carlos oh, oh I? why would you say fuck that? with him Carlos so, fucking with me Carlos so, if you want to catch a bruising out there by your car after we're done my boy. I'll knock you clean out. That's my beater. <laughs> I'll knock you on that bitch. I'll feel the knock every tooth <laughs> out of your head. Beater. <laughs> this is, dude, he's got the classic, bro. What I got you, the truck. I got the word shirt. I got the fucking beater. I like, bro, what do you do for a living? Huh? What do you do for a living? Well, I'm on a bus. So, yeah. You're your own boss. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty dope. He collects bro. his own social security checks. <laughs> or, <laughs> nice. or unemployment or whatever he's playing. She got through my up in the way. Did he say it properly? <laughs> he said, uh, fuck yeah. your mom. I said, you love your, I said, like, when you touch your mom, like, I love your mom is what you say, you know? <laughs> what did he actually say, Leo? He said he he uh, did fuck your mom. Yeah, that's what he like said. Oh, so he didn't say the I love you thing. No. <laughs> You're being dishonest with me. Hey, man. You're being kind of a dick. <laughs> Listen, you told me you were going to fight me. You said you're going to fuck me up. I will fuck no. you up. All right. We'll see you then. Carlos, I'm going to knock you, you clean out, this. and I'm going to tweeze my every boy, hair out of that mustache. Yeah. It's a good mustache. Yeah. Go ahead and take it all out, my boy. I still knock your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> But you're gonna be knocked out when I'm tweezing it. Oh, nah, dude. So you're nah. gonna wake up and then come back and knock me out nah, again? Nah, nah, dude. Because uh, dude. she gets knocked out all the time. I gotta put on that shit. Yeah, I still knock your ass out. <laughs> I like it. Hey, Carlos, this is what I want to know. You're a homeowner, right? Yes, sir. Damn, darling. that's More awesome. Like wait, 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 wait. My father taught me that. My father. How your old father are you? you that? How old are you? Carlos? How old are you? How old are you? I'm about to be thirty, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Time. That's pretty dope. Thirty, thirty. How did you homeowner come about? How did you, uh, when did you purchase this home and uh, where, uh, what do you? I was selling drugs and I made a lot of money. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> hey man, it is what it is. You invested it back and you're good. Uh, like, you know, like uh, you just uh, make some business and like pay some taxes. <laughs> Hell yeah. So are you afraid at all right now, Carlos, that a rival cartel or the IRS might come after you? No, but the white man, yeah. <laughs> the white man. Somebody looks like me. I'm supposed to pay, I'm supposed to pay taxes on money. <laughs> you don't pay taxes. You're admitting right now you don't pay taxes. What about property taxes on the house you own? Oh, None of those. Well, you have to pay the property taxes. You're going tax. way too deep, bro. Like, but the name, but the property's not in my name, so like, you know. Okay, so okay. It's not in his name. He's I'm not a fucking idiot. He's, yeah. pi- he's picking up a, a cup. He's sloshing some Jack Daniels in it. Damn, you got a lot, dude. Yeah, That's like, awesome. You know, you you know, know like who helped him? You one cup, bro? You're like two shots. Like, I don't know. You want like, a little bit at least? Just a little bit. Dino don't give him any. Here. Don't be tripping for you, Carlos. Dino well, came in earlier, mine, yeah. and he, when you guys were really? down at the so Asian like, Mart, he, 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 finished he a filled of Jack. up his cup with a little bit of Jack. Really? Yeah. Dino's been drinking. No, no, no. I drank the whole thing, and I, I had some Jack before I got here. But like, Dino? Yeah, the little bottle, bro. Like, you didn't even go to Costco? Hey, the ghost yeah, of Dino. Sorry, uh, fucking, uh, the ghost away. of Dino future oh. is to my right if you keep drinking <laughs> oh, yeah. at your pace. That means cheapest Spanish. Yeah, there he is. So, Carlos, uh, what? so you drink, you, you wake up at 5 a.m. and start drinking? No, I go to work. 
Okay. So when do you start you told drinking? Me you start drinking at five. What's your first? What's your first yeah, drink I of the I night? Take a couple shots. You done? Okay, a couple shots. You stay. Supposed to go to work if you don't fucking drink. Okay, know? so if you don't question. drink, if you don't drink, do you start shaking? Think. Nah. Like, Not yet. Uh, I own my own company, so I just like uh like, mobile wash and like other shit that I do. So like you know. Do you have a dry cleaning I, business? I, I, uh, I, I like security company. I, I do it early because like it's like the end of the day it's like hot. You know, sweating, bro. No, I like it. What kind of company do you drink? You sweat. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, oh, that makes know, a right? lot of Power sense. Wash? Power Wash company? That's uh, a mobile wash. Oh, I mobile wash. A couple, nice. couple contracts with like Amazon and shit like that. Oh, oh sick. my God. Oh, oh, it's all right. Oh, you good, you good, you good. That's the couch is it, that couch is made for that. It's fine. So, yeah, 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 we yeah, just sloshed a bunch I'll, of Jack Daniels on the old couch. I, I think this might have belonged uh, to my grandmother. Listen, uh, I, I wake up really early. This is why I wanted to dab you up, bro, because I actually had that dream. Oh, yeah. For about seven months. So right now, what I'm trying to do is I save them the money and I open all, all my own hub, you know? Uh, Are you grossing it. six figures or no? Yeah, of course, for sure, my boy. Oh. <laughs> King Croc. So I, 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 I chill whenever I want, so you know? I like it. Bro, he's just. I drink man, every You gotta day. respect this. You gotta respect I this off rip. Uh huh. Owns his own business. Mm -hmm. Does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. S nah, you're grossing you, six figures. You're killing my motherfucking house. I'll come down there. Honestly, can we I'll come bring down the whole there, crew? Man. Yeah, you can film my whole day. Really? Well, yeah, let's film his whole day. Yeah, I'll follow you around while you're pressure washing. And if you fuck up, I'll, I have my this is outside the head. This is something I don't know works. So we'll just probably smoke all day, so it's cool. Carlos. Can we, can we just trash talk while you're doing your job, though? Just, like, on camera? Like, no, but, like, maybe uh, we could just smoke all day and, like, whatever happens, happens, you know? Do you fuck get paid yeah. for smoking all day? Uh, sometimes. Uh, yeah. All right. Well... I'm not sure where to go with this. You gotta try right. the pound before you sell the pound. <laughs> oh no, camera, we not. <laughs> what did you say, King Croc? Oh, he didn't say nothing. What was he saying? I don't know. I, I didn't understand. That was some hood talk, Danny. I think so. Yeah. King yeah, Croc can, lives uh, down we, in Inglewood. He understands the Compton talk. Yeah, exactly. We would have to write it down and kind of decipher it yeah. for a while. Yeah. We might need to bring in some code breakers. I was deciphering everything you were saying, but like, oh, I what? say one little thing. <laughs> Oh, fucking, uh, yeah. Well, you were heckling the Rubik's comedians, Cube. dude. <laughs> Rubik's Cube, dude? I know. I do, the things he says, they, they do sound complicated. No, they don't More sound complicated. complicated, bro. Like, he was really coming at me, though, bro. You know? No, he well, wasn't. No, well, he I really say, fucked up. I think you he? misunderstood. I misunderstood? Yeah, because... So that was whole another... motherfucking time, bro, Like he's like, wow. He yeah, that, like... was a, that was a guy on the phone. You didn't see it. Nah, I'm serious. Bro, like, just be real with me right now. Okay, be, I'm being yeah, real. Bro. There was a guy on the phone named Stop Swolby. Me, I remember the guy Swolby we were talking about? Give me another bottle of you know, all that bullshit. Wait, wait. You want to be real with him, Leo? Let's Bring be, me the bottle okay. of you know, that bullshit. Listen, Carlos, we're gonna bottle, we're gonna be very honest with you right yeah. now. There we go. Drink that white claw. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. now listen, Danny's gonna be honest. Is that even a surge? Tell Danny It's not even a surge, it's eight percent, it's five percent, bro. Be bro, real dude, with Carlos. Carlos, <laughs> we thought we were gonna get a man to sit down on this couch, and you've been acting like a bitch. Oh, oh no. That's real though. That's real. That's Ooh. real shit, baby. Respect that. That's real shit. Cause you know what though, like I, I didn't, I didn't drink it because you know my girl she made me drive, so like uh -huh. you, know. you wouldn't be a bitch if you were drinking more. Yeah, bro. I like how he respects <laughs> me for the first time. He's like, oh, I'm a bitch. There it is, dude. <laughs> my girl be mad, bro. Like I was like, I'm gonna go do the show. It's like, man, what the fuck this show? You're a I star. Like, I was like, they're real, and I was like, she's not real. Yeah, this one wants you fucked up, and I was like, man, I don't know, bro. Like, you know? So like, she's well, like, all right, we'll go, but like, I, you gotta drive. She's so I'm rider, driving down bro. like Compton, bro. 105, 405. Fucking down the street, like bro, I'm, I'm, I mean, like, You're fucking uh, on the street. Imagine I'm fucked up, bro. Like, I already, I already got like a DUI. I already went to jail. I already mm -hmm. got a fucking yeah. case. I already yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. I've on my record. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't need more, bro. Of course, yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's yeah. smart. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that I'm you're. I'm sorry, bro, but I, I can't, I can't like. I'm happy to risk that. I'm it's happy that your shit. girl uh, drove you here and that uh, yeah, you're gonna be safe hands. Yeah, because she's fucking like yeah, but she's fucking pissed, bro. Well, yeah, you know what? What about I, I treat you guys to some Thai dinner. Maybe no, I, I got her, bro. I know, yeah, you're I got, fine. I got, I got, what about her. this? I got, I got her. Like she's fine, bro. But like, Leo? but like, but like, but like, she was fucking like, she was fucking pissed. Yeah, she was like, oh, you know why? Should we bring her up here and talk to her? Nah. I think this. Uh, I think no. we send Leo down there into the parking lot. Yeah, fucking dick. Into should I go? Car. Should I go talk to her? Well, I tell her not to do say shit. She won't say shit. So fuck you, dude. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Well, no. Fuck you, Leo. What? Why would you bring bring that up? Nah, fuck that. It was a terrible idea. I, I tell her to put the window, nigga. Don't say shit. She won't say shit. So you know. I Leo, like it. you got her trained. I like nah, it. No, my boy, like I know, but I keep it room, my boy. Leo, you better not. Why would you even suggest? You want to like try that? Yeah, go ahead and try it, bro. But go it's fucking like, try it's like, it, Leo. No, go, my boy. Go down there. Go ahead. If you're Mr. I, I Tough Guy, you, bro. Mr. Handsome, get the fuck down I, I, there, Leo. I, 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 I bet you tank. I bet What's you tank right now. 
All right. Are you giving I, I, I have the money in the car. I bet you ten grand. If I put my hair down. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna. I say, bet you ten grand, bro. I have the money in my car. Cash. Ten fucking G's, Leo. Don't say that. In my car. All right. Put up or shut up. No, bitch. go. go, go What's go, the go, bet? Go. What's the bet? Ten bands, bro. In my car right now. So I go talk Are to you her. You fucking go. She says anything. All right. So I, I'm gonna just say hello. How are Damn. you? She won't respond. She won't say shit, bro. Go sniff around his car with the screwdriver. But you're not you allowed. To let me see, let me see your money. I'll show you my money. You'll see your money. Show him the money, I don't Leo. Have, I don't have oh, that kind of cash. Show me your bro. Oh shit. Show me your Show me your stocks. Yeah, Leo. Leo, you're a bitch, dude. You're talking about this guy's wallet. I'll give you a few shares of Disney. I have a few shares of Disney. You, you, like said. You, you tested my bitch's loyalty. So yeah, like, you did, Leo. Boy? You for sure Ooh. touched on his loyalty. I'm not trying to bang. I'm not trying to hook you, up with you. You, you tested my bitch's loyalty. Yeah, so you I'm are, Leo. No, I'm not trying did to you, test her loyalty. Let me see your 10 bands, bro. Leo, 10 bands. I don't have 10 bands. Ooh. Okay. What about this? I have a couple Bitcoin. I have a, a, a Bitcoin. Fuck Bitcoin, you piece of shit. <laughs> what? Oh. What if he gives you... Oh, two cents on a dollar, my boy? Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> no, who gets two cents on a dollar? Is that what it's trading at, right? Is it two cents for a Bitcoin at the moment? I think it is. Wow, the market is bad. I don't care, bro. I don't... I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't know that. My, my brother does, but like, fuck. You know, I don't, Your brother's smart Fuck guy. Bitcoin. Right, my brother's so, smart. So we moving along. Just matches and shit. Really? Oh, than me. Your brother's got his masters? Yeah, you're younger than me and shit. Yeah, Where'd you grow smart. up? Carlos? You're up Central. Oh, fuck yeah. He's probably got his master's in B oh, yeah. right yeah, next yeah. to you. Yeah, 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 yeah you master's in what, dick sucking, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> PhD, actually. He did it again. He did the boomerang again. Yeah. It's your favorite, though, you know? Oh, it is. Yeah, I mean, fuck yeah. But, like, you asked for it, though. Yeah, I know I did. I, I yeah, said no, you did, you did. I said your brother. I thought we were being real then. Like, no, we were being real. No, I think some I'm getting I'm getting what to the bottom of why Carlos has been a little hostile this podcast. Now What's let that? me okay, I'm gonna yeah. say, I'm gonna because you've been trying to fuck his chick since he got that here. That is not true. It's so <laughs> true. <laughs> nah, she wouldn't fuck you, dude. She wouldn't fuck me, dude. Yeah, now, she listen, fuck you, bro. now listen, Carlos, is it because you offered ten grand, bro? She we were we wanted you on this podcast because of your talent. Your girl got in your ear and said they just want you there yeah, fucked up. Yeah. She's talking yeah. shit. I say you go she back said hand her. That shit like, oh, dude. Why don't you fucking give her a nice little pop? Not open uh, hand well, well, doesn't because, count. Because I um open hand doesn't count, Carlos. Because Remember that. Bro, like I just wanna I, well, I fucked up a lot, bro. I got like uh, I got arrested. Yeah. I went in jail. That's Listen, okay. I was got DUI. Listen, Carlos. I I, I did a lot of fucked up shit. Bro. We see past the Hey alcohol. man. You're all right. We see you for the beautiful soul you are. Yes. The conversation we had at the bar of Bubba Gum Shrimp Co. That was fucked up, dude. We <laughs> knew <laughs> fucked up. that you were a man with deep reservoirs of knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember we were him? talking about Val- <laughs> when we were talking about Valley Forge and George Washington? Do you remember? Nah, bro, bro. I saw the video, but like, it's funny though. There's no, way put, more stuff going on than what just we, happened we can, in the video. We can't oh, really? put that all in the video. Yeah. Yes. We can't. We have really? to cut it up. It's editing. Yeah. yeah. No way. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. We talked for a <laughs> while about Valley Forge. Yeah. You were like, shit. And then you started fucking. It was like a soliloquy. It was like, right, shit, right. man. It was like fucking eight degrees out, and George Washington nah, had to find a way to keep morale high and mm-hmm. shit. And it was the turning point of the fucking war. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. She's like, she hates who I am like that. Your girl hates who you are? See, no, that's what Leo and I are that. trying to solve. Let's have a therapy session, Carlos. Well, remember, speak into the mic, though, for, for your boy. Uh, ask her, dog. All right, so she's upset because she's... I, have no, I have no problem with who I am. Does She probably loves you, Carlos. Maybe <laughs> maybe you're drinking a little too much. She thinks you're hurting yourself. Nah, bro. Well, who's the you're guy young. I'm a fifth. I, did, I bought you a bottle of Jack because I thought it would be a good time. It was not enough, though. I know. You're, you're, you know but you got the White Claw, right? Why didn't you get him a handle? I'm sorry that I didn't get you. A I don't know. It's like, I looked up his net worth. It was like four million. I was like, yeah, he's like, like, a bitch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bitch. bitch. Why are you laughing? Dude, my net worth it still says $64 million? Yeah, well, I don't know what the fuck you did. That's my bullshit, boy. bro. Why that, somebody, why? One like, of our right? fans wrote that in. That's funny, my, though. It was like maybe three million, I but wish. like, you know, Why did you get on there? Four million, like, you and a bitch. And put such an boy. exorbitant number as your net worth, Leo. I know That's you, why I know he fucks bad bitches. He's lying about his net worth. He's trying to fuck That's why I know he fucks bad bitches, bro. I like he's saying like, that I fucked hey, that bitch. Like, hey, you don't be That's the last uh, straw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now listen, listen. Um, if I had a net worth of sixty-four million, I would have gotten you that J- Johnny Walker blue. Yeah, I know you. I know, but I, I knew when I came in, I knew what I was walking into. So that's why, like, you know. Yeah, dude. You know, uh, you, know you know what it is. I know what it is. But don't let your girl get in your ear like that. My ex used to do that to me. She used to be like, you know, uh, listen. They just want you for your body. Well, and I can't that. be too fucked up, bro. Cause like, uh, maybe. I just like a Dr. Jekyll and Hyde complex, you know? All right, so what happens when you're do- Mr. Jekyll or Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde? Who would you decipher that? I didn't even know what I get super drunk, bro, and I, get, like, I just, uh, I don't know. Is that when you got kicked out of Bubba Gump? I got kicked out of every fucking bar in the fucking city walk, bro. <laughs> Is that 
Was that the last bar? Was that the last one? Oh, I want a bubble you gum. You say bubble gum for then, last, uh, then, obviously. The, 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 like, fucking Mexican skull across the street. And what about then, Margaritaville? Like, the, the modern the modern bar across the street, and then Margaritaville, and they all heat me up. Yeah, uh, Margaritaville, too. <laughs> they said they had, like, 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 they had gone, like, like, some kind of call or whatever. I was like, oh, fuck you guys. Why? You didn't even do anything, dude. It's bullshit. Like, oh, me paying, like, too, too much? Well, fuck them, you know? You tip too much. That was the issue, huh? No, well, fuck you. You should have fucking. I think what you did. I think I gave. I gave her the like the. Um, <laughs> Wait a second! It was your fault, you motherfucker. Carlos, yeah, you're yeah, telling the I audience right now that napkin that I doodled on, which was <laughs> a rendition of the server, a man named Elaine, chasing the hostess with his What's penis out, and it said, so "Run like out." And like, you I, gave I, that to the hostess. I, <laughs> you gave I, it to like, her. <laughs> Of course they banned me, bro. He probably gave it to the chick manager. He gave it to her, dude. <laughs> and then he got kicked out of Universal. We owe him. They just said uh, he just said they banned him. Yeah, dude, obviously. That was, that was a dick move, bro. <laughs> well <laughs> Carlos, we did thought, you see what was on the napkin? We thought you would I didn't know. see it, bro. Like, it was black. Too drunk to see. He was like, hey, like, here you go. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. That's oh the my god. Thing no. I've ever Heard <laughs> Carlos, you said you got fired from Coffee Bean for calling your manager a bitchosaurus. Yeah, bro. Were bitch. you hitting the sauce when you said that? Yeah, I was on the bean really, really good, you know. <laughs> on the bean. <laughs> right. on, on the bean. No, no, no. It's because, like, uh, uh, she ran everybody, and then like, everybody was, like, really um on her dick. So, like, uh, that, bro, like, you know. She like, it was my first day, and like, I fucked up, bro. She was like, she just yelled at me. I was like, hey, bitch, you need to calm fuck down, bro. Fuck <laughs> first down, day? Bro. Hey, she hey, need to hey, calm fuck down. Like, uh, Carlos, you know, uh, well, I agree. If, yeah. if you're being abused at work, if somebody's yelling at you, yeah, you tell bro. that bitch to calm down. Absolutely. Dude, so, like, yeah, I, lost a, I lost a lot of jobs like that. Leo, oh, also, that's fine. Talk about thin skin. Dude, me too, you're going to fire a guy for calling you a bitch on his first shift? Yeah, I was why like, would you? I was, I was issuing loans and shit. Like, like, hey, bitch, you need to calm down. Look, like, he's got skills. You don't qualify. Like, damn, bro. This guy. <laughs> this hey, guy bitch. is a creditor. <laughs> like, you don't qualify, bitch. Like, he was uh, doing the grunt work uh, with the rag uh, and the coffee shit. beans, but also he was in the back office and loading like, money. To, I worked at a law firm and I was like, subpoena, bitch. I was like, oh, yeah. Hey, you used to do that job? He's yeah, got yeah. a juris doctorate, too. Subpoena, subpoena, subpoena people. Used like, to get like, people to use hey, subpoena like, people? Jamie, Jamie Cooley, like, yeah, like, subpoena, bitch. You yeah, like. used to say you're subpoenaed, bitch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I like, like that. Uh, Cause like uh yeah dude like I work for a really like high profile like um law firm uh -huh. so yeah oh nice should we send him in to subpoena somebody in one of the neighboring businesses right now I mean if yes. you pay me yeah. let's follow him with you, the... you get paid for that so like I, so, well, I, got, I, I got, paid for that I got twenty dollars cash that that's something uh, I'd be like low key sixty eighty so like I don't know bro low key sixty eighty that's yeah, what you, you got paid per subpoena yeah 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 oh that's solid. Solid. Were you hammered when you were handing those out to people I got I got fired no I didn't get fired I I, I, I like I quit because uh. I beat the shit out of like a fucking messenger guy. He came in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> what? Shut him, dude. They, you know what they yeah. say? Don't shoot the messenger. No, but I fucked him up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What did he, he do to shoot you? Him. Uh, he's always talking shit like, oh, I've been thinking, I've been thinking, I've been thinking. Like, oh, yeah. well, what was he saying? So one day, like, I blacked out. What was he saying? Did he like, say oh, like, he beat somebody up. And, like, he, like, he was fucking, just bragging like, about that? Yeah, so like, one day, I just grabbed him. I just beat the fucking shit breaks off him, bro. I'm imagining a little <laughs> boy who's like, on his nah, paper dude. route. Nah, he, he's really hey, talking to me, bro. A schoolyard bully just, like, was really giving me dude, an earful. And I stood my ground. He said, he said, there's some guy on the second floor on the parking lot. I was like, bro, you're stupid as fuck. So he would tell you these tales he of violence. He told me these tales, yeah, yeah, violence. For weeks and so weeks. I grabbed finally, him. You snapped one week. And I fucking be shit at him because like, all, all, all the walls of my law firm, they were made out of glass. So oh, you beat sure him, him up in the law firm. Yeah. Boy. You beat him up. You were like the law firm? Yeah. What about law firms? You was like the name, name of the law firm? What's yeah, the name of the law firm? Yeah. 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 No yeah. secrets yeah. in this room. Turn it off. Oh, yeah, what is it? Oh, it's big time. He can't say it on the mic. Listen, uh, so I I look, that, I, that's bro. a lesson learned, guys. If you're out there showing off, saying that you can kick people's asses, uh, people uh, like Carlos really? yeah. are going to okay. fucking call Rob, you out. Robby Mathai. That's what I like. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Leo, to be fair, the yeah. other day you really were telling right. that's, that's why I, I fucked the moment. Like, About beating people you know up? You know why oh, I, I, I got fired? Because, like, uh, well, I, the brace out because I had see through walls. So, really? It was all glass. Oh, so they damn. saw you beat Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like uh, you know who was there. Uh, what was the guy um, from uh, How My Mother? How My Mother was the guy. I met your brother. Or yeah. How I met your mother. Oh, Neil Patrick Harris was there. No, 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 no. not that fucking guy. The main character. 
Ted, oh. Ted Mosley? The straight guy. Ted, Ted Mosley. Ted Mosley. Sure, Ted Mosley was there. <laughs> Ted Mosley. It was an oh, entertainment law firm. That guy, and that suddenly, guy. Ted Mosley becomes the spectator in a no, hockey no, no, no. match because that there's guy, just a guy being pressed up against the glass, getting bop, beat bop, in by Carlos. Bop, bop. Uh, I don't know what. How that, dare you? I love that, that show. How I Met Your Mother, it's great. That guy was there. Why would you expose him to such brutality? Because I embarrassed my um, I embarrassed my company, you know, like Roman Thousand. Embarrassed... Clearly, and yourself, you should be ashamed. Yeah, for sure, dude. It's okay, right. Carlos. <laughs> I'm getting through to him. Carlos, sure. listen. What are the demons? Why do you think you drink every day when you wake up? What are you trying to escape from? Nothing. Unless I just, I just get from nothing, you know. This is just All right. me. All right. Well, in that case, you will come out of it one day. I I believe in you. No. So. <laughs> Why? No. No. Carlos? <laughs> okay, but I do have to. Uh, do, should I tell him the story of me kicking some ass? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's a mess. Yeah, he, well, was, he was bragging to me about this. Did so, God, cocaine or what? listen, God, <laughs> God talked to me one day and he yeah. said, if you grow your hair out, you will have super strength. So, I. That's, uh, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the Old Testament. What are you talking about? He's right. Uh, Leviticus like, yeah. 372. Yeah. Long hair. Yeah. Long hair. Shit. Oh, oh, you mean? Uh, never, never mind. So I, one day. I, 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 um, I am educated. So like, uh, I was like. All right. Well, let me continue my story. Some radio okay, and Loyola High School. And let me continue my story. Shit, you know? There were a thousand <laughs> thugs coming at me one day. And I picked up the jaw of a cow. And I, I killed all of them. Bugs. Violence against bugs. With a cow jaw. What do you think about that, Carlos? I'm oh, sorry. What did you say? We're talking about kicking ass, dude. Kicking ass? Yeah, Leo and I, I'm a, I'm a we're ass. the most famous bruisers in town. <laughs> yeah? We went into a mall. This yeah. kid skateboarded <laughs> by with a sideways hat. Leo oh, just yeah. clotheslined him. And yeah. I, without hesitating, started stomping him out on the WWE. Ground. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We, we basically did. We WWE a kid. Yeah. We did. We, we do it on the weekends, up. usually yeah. Sundays. Oh, yeah, bro. You're fucking faggot, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe we are. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we are. Hey, yeah, yeah. King Croc, what do you have to say about this guy? Wow, man, dude. I like this guy. He's so stupid, fucking... bro. Like, Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, me? I'm saying whatever you say, my boy, you know? I'm not even going to hate on you, bro. All right, cool then. Like, let me dude, hear me and this shit. guy, Yeah. we had a whole conversation outside. About what? He's like a therapist. It's really? weird. He just, all of a sudden, this nigga, I'm talking to him, I'm telling him my life history. Listen. Wow. And he's just, he's Dino? just coercing it out of me. It's like, it's wild. Dude. Leo, Austin, really? and especially like Dino, like nobody like else says a word for the next five minutes. Let's let them you, have a therapy session right here on the couch. Carlos, Congrats. I want you to psychoanalyze. Do you know what that means? Yeah, King Croc. I want you to game. psychoanalyze King Croc. Oh, I thought we were doing it to like, Dino. Why? How, 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 like, why? Tell me what you think he's all about and what he needs to improve in his well, life. You guys need a fucking black dude on the show, right? Damn. Oh, he psychoanalyzed everybody. He saw he straight through. Wrong way. I am like, wherever I'm going to say it goes right. Like, all right, wherever. Keep going. Keep going, Damn, dude. I like, like how his my, mic dropped because he just like, turns the mic 90 like, degrees. Like, I like you know, it. Like, fuck you guys. Yeah. Why? I was like, uh, you know, we're more than that shit. So like, uh, you, who's you, more than what shit? You think you can fucking like come in, like I could be this guy too? Like, no, fuck you. Yeah. Be him or and beat like, him. Bro, like, uh, you said Johnny Blue, bro. Jay Daniels, it's some cheap ass shit, my boy. So like, you know, Leo, oh, I wasted my, oh, I wasted my time, bro. You came all, he came all the way up here for just a fifth of Jack Daniels. Nah, nigga, like, fucking horse shit. Nigga, Enter. Like, I, 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 I could do this myself. So, like, I'm so you. sorry, dude. dude I should have gotten Leo. you the this Johnny Walker Blue. Shit, bro. You go suck a dick, Leo. Get fucked. Fuck you. Like, Take know, a hike. I saw your fucking net worth, bitch. So yeah. Your fucking net worth's like five pennies, you piece of dog crap. Yeah, he yeah, still thinks I'm worth sixty four million. You I, I, that, right? I, 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 I want to buy my own bottle, but though. Dude, uh, you see, you're still, I don't need you. He thinks I'm worth that much. Bottle. Okay. Leah, why I, do you, I, I, I don't need you to buy my bottle, though. Like, I don't buy my own bottle. Listen, like, my fucking to be nice. Bentley. Like, 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 oh, I'm take a couple my shots. fucking Bentley got a flat tire. I paid nah. fifty thousand no, dollars no. for that fucking tire. I'm gonna like suppose take a couple shots with you. Like you didn't. You take, I wipe my ass with hundred dollar bills you, every day, motherfucker. She <laughs> shots with me, bro. Yeah, Listen, hey, I, I drink. You know how I eat my fucking wings? Like, Dipped in gold, you motherfucker. Should've, you, should've more than me, bro. you know what I? You know what I read? I don't read because I have a motherfucker read to me, dude. I just pay him. I call him reader, bitch. I go, hey, reader, bitch. Read, think, and grow rich. Now listen, uh, sixty-four million is nothing, dude. Are you resentful of Leo because he makes so much money? No, no, no. no. Like, I feel like I think you resent him. I because thought, he's I, I, I thought he was more cool because like you were more of a dick. 
But then like now, now it's he changing. Didn't, he didn't dream of me. Bro. Well, it started with you trying I, to fuck his girlfriend, Leo. I wasn't trying to fuck your girl. She doesn't care about like, money. I thought like, you were like fucking dreaming me, bro. Leo. I was drink. I took two or three shots. Leo, I saw him bro. out there when he was sober. He said, uh, "Mr. Dottavio, would you care to share a slug of whiskey with myself?" Yeah, bro. And you knocked the cup I, out of his hand. I st you I st knocked the cup out of his hand. Listen, ah, good, when you're worth sixty four million dollars, you can't be a fucking drunk. You understand me? Carlos, you know it's very bad for your teeth to chew ice. I don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> Listen, Listen, Carlos, I want to finish. As a token to you, can I, if I drink a White Claw, if I shotgun a White Claw yeah, right man, now. Yeah, drink with me, bro. All right, give me a White Claw, please. Drink with me, bro. King Croc, what did you have to say? Like, you just King like Croc, dick, you give me a White Claw? I thought you were Could fucking somebody cool, give me a White Claw, like, please? But no, you just like, you just like, they don't want to drink with me He's no a more. snobby rich dude. He's so Look, distant. He's I, these King, these, these Crocs, bro, you see these Crocs? You see these you crocs? Made, you made the black to dream me, bro. What? All right, so what are you trying to say about me, bro? Nah, it's fucked up, bro. Like, you know, like, what, what's <laughs> fucked up, bro? Like, dude, like, fuck you know. It, fuck it. How come you wasn't drinking the whole time, bro? What about King Croc, okay. though? <laughs> I've been How about now? How about now? I'm gonna drink one of on him, bro. Him, bro. Him, bro I got bro, an eight oh. Uh, this is an eight oh five. This is a seven percent. It's Santa Barbara, or San I Diego drink, area, kid. I drink all day, though, bro. All right, you want me to drink yeah, all day with you? Go ahead, go, bro. Drink this and like the whole bottle. Uh, dude, God, honestly, bro. it's pretty impressive that you drank that much. Dude, you spent well, a Dino lot of had a quarter of it. It's right at the bottom. I mean, like we started this shit. Dino looks hammered right now. Look at him; he's feeling good. He he's so much better on alcohol than weed, though. Can Look we restart this? Like, can we start this? Like, buy any bottle? Oh my God, Dino, go buy Carlos. Carlos, bottle. if you want to walk around street at the Smart and Final, I'll give you twenty bucks. Yeah. You can buy whatever here. Yeah. And I, as we start this, no, you, you can come back and and uh, we'll continue it. You want me to come with you? Yeah, oh. Green Croc, go with him. Yeah. King Croc, you sure? Ah. I need uh, a cigarette. Uh, unless you want me to stay. You want me to stay? No, yeah, go with him. No, I want King, King Croc's going to get he's gonna get some. <laughs> I mean, I can't leave him by he himself. Want, he wants some more real me. I'm like, I want to be real. Don't flex on me, motherfucker. No, no, no. Hey, everybody, I'm worth $64 million, but I'll give you twenty. dollars I'll give you $20. I'll to put go this buy. mic stand through your liver. Hey, dude, go finish these out here. I throw them away. I'll throw my shoe at your noggin. Stop, stop. <laughs> no, no, he's fucking with you. King Croc, here, go buy him. Go I'll buy him juggle up. your titties like a set of coconuts. Yeah. You guys Listen, would never fight. Come on. I'll bend your leg the wrong way, homie. Nah, it's it's a token of my appreciation. Damn, dude. I'll wrestle you to the floor and give you a noogie. Hey, there's a liquor store across the street. I'll kick your butt and spit in your eyes. He'll take a shit on your car. I'm going to punt your nuts like a football. <laughs> Damn, dude. You going to suck his dick dry? We need a translator. We well, need a, we need a drunk. drunken bum who speaks Spanish. My girl would pay how this nigga suck my dick dry because that nigga's a bitch, bro. <laughs> Your girl's gonna pay you. My girl will pay. Who's she gonna pay? You niggas. How much is she paying? I'll suck your dick for some coin. You can't afford that shit, my boy. Careful for that room divider right now. You You're screwing with money. our feng shui. You make a little money. I don't have 64 million. I'm not Leo Dottavio. Listen. How much, how much you make? Yeah, yeah, bro. How much you make? How much? I'm scared. scared you little I am a little frightened oh, about the figure. Because I make big money, my boy. Oh, Makes big mean. money. Know, You're a big man, aren't you, Carlos? Hey, yeah, I'm gonna find you in the parking lot. Be waiting for me, motherfucker. Well, what have you done, Leo? He seemed like a very peaceful man when I first met him. But he has quickly become a, quite a character. That was awesome. I mean, look, there was some good shit in there. There was definitely some good radio. I like how we knew it was on when <laughs> he hallucinated that everything we said to Swolby was directed to him.
<laughs> and it took yeah, us all a second to get on the same page about it. Like, like all right. What does this fucking guy say? Oh. oh okay. So Why were you go. heckling Ryan Long, Carlos? Dude, so he's so blacked. Poor guy, dude. He, he drinks a lot, but... He's, he did some fucking funny shit, dude. His girl was kind of right. He's like, they just want to see you fucked up. But honestly, you know what? We wanted... He was a good, a good fun guy when we met him, but now he's uh, trying to fight everybody. But him and King Croc were bonding, so maybe they'll be friends. Mm. Yeah, he was, he was pretty cool. <laughs> up until uh, I think we lost... His cerebral something stopped working in there, yeah. Yeah. At a certain point. He got, he's blacked out. I mean, he drinks so much whiskey, and he wants more, which is kind of crazy. I don't know how he could drink more. You know who I think this guy is? I think he might be our new crew member. And you want to know? <laughs> he yeah. has to be. And you want to know what his name is? Oh my God, stop. You know who I got? Rat Dick Ralph? Yeah. Micro Penis Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> you want to present that to him? <laughs> <laughs> when he comes back, we have to tell him that, we, uh, that we're very proud of him, that we, you know, he's part of the crew now. Do we have a pen for that whiteboard up there? Do we have a pen no, for any yet. whiteboard? Do we have anything in we this studio? Get, we can go to the smart and final and buy something. I'm working on it. It's coming together. We got the dry erase. I, uh, do we have a dry erase? Yeah, that's perfect. Do we have a dry erase board? No. We have a dry erase board, but I don't have a marker yet. Oh. Okay. You know what I did find online is uh, red curtains that you can set up on like these two little, uh, you know, like they look like those light stands. Uh, big red curtains so we, for our stage. So, and, that, and it's mobile. So it's only 30 bucks on Amazon. Do we have a piece of paper and a pen? That sounds like it's probably going to be kind of shit, though. It could be, but it, it looked good, and it got really good reviews. You know, like thousands of people reviewed it well, so you yeah, never know. Yeah, we have to look for the reviews. Dino searching. Yeah. Oh, boy. I mean, Ian's look. over at my house. It's yeah. funny. We were talking about Ryan Long. Ryan Long had a bit about how a guy off TaskRabbit had to come over to m set up all of his shelves. I just lost audio in one of my earphones, Austin. Probably oh, I stepped on it. Probably, actually. Is that better? Um, Ryan Long had a, a bit about uh, how a dude from TaskRabbit had to come over and install some shelves. Thank you, Dino. I appreciate it. And how Ryan Long felt like a little child. Like, Daddy, can I hold the wrench? Yeah. Do you need any help? Can I collect the nuts and bolts? Mm -hmm. And that that's good, yeah. Um, and right now, who do I have at my house with my girlfriend assembling my furniture? Ian. Oh, my God. Editor Ian, anything, and I'm just talking about anything. I mean, hanging a fucking poster, a task that pedestrian is above me, and therefore he's got to go over there and hang up the Russell Wilson poster and the motivational Conor McGregor poster, which is kind of douchey, but it really does the trick. I mean, <laughs> Conor, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's funny. <clears throat> I uh, grew up with my dad call, uh, saying that uh, anybody who couldn't do that was a nerd and a faggot. Your so, dad said that? Oh, yeah. If so. you couldn't hang a poster, you were a nerd and a faggot. Yeah. So you better you better figure out how to do it. How old were you when he was using that kind of language? Ten. A nerd? Yeah, and a yeah, yeah. As soon as I basically I started remembering stuff like that when, like, the Yankees won in 1996 and I was ten. So, you know, he used to say things like that. You know how I said the guy at the wedding... My my good buddy Tim's dad made the the incest joke to the bride's uncle when he was like, I love you, Nicole, I love you. And then my good buddy Tim's dad was like, yeah, I bet you do, you fucking incestuous piece of shit. <laughs> it's in front of a bunch of square adults. I can't adults. believe that, that, yeah, he got away with that. Well, that guy may be a man of, of questionable child-rearing abilities because he, when my buddy Tim was like 10, introduced him to the concept of an N-word knife. Which, oh according God. to him, is when you break a beer bottle and you use it as a shank. Jesus. And he didn't say N-word knife. Jesus. So, he and your dad would probably get along, is what I'm saying. Man, maybe. They could go shoot pool somewhere. Oh, yeah, maybe, dude. Well, they could go have burn you, a cross, perhaps. <clears throat> when people were, like, surprised that, like, you know, like, anybody in their 70s... Have you talked to people in their 70s, dude? They're fucking racist. Dude. Yeah. It's incredible how racist they are. Bill Burr had a genius bit about Donald Sterling. Remember Donald Sterling, oh, yeah. owner of the Clippers? Mm -hmm. Listen, I don't mind if you're having sex with these men or hanging out with them, getting drunk. Just don't post it on Instagram. And Bill Burr had such a genius take on it. Like, he's fucking 82 years old. What did you think he thought? Right. When he was younger, back in the fucking 60s, he was probably like a hippie. Yeah, man, you can have sex with them. You can get drunk with them. Just no Instagram. 
And it was it's pretty fucking spot on actually. So, so for a guy true. in his eighties, so like true. you can fuck him, just don't post it on Instagram. Right. Progressive. That's very progressive. Leo. What? I can't believe what the show has come to. I mean, I uh, look every now and then I want to roll the dice on like a, a character. Yeah. And it seemed like the right guy to roll the dice sure. on, right? Sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> we well, got to roll the dice. That's a great thing about this show. We have to roll the dice. And look, it can't. It's not always going to go smoothly, guys. I mean, we we don't know who's coming on, what they're going to do. People don't know fucking podcast etiquette, especially when you're completely hammered out of your mind. So. What we did, though, is there was gold in there. There was gold in there. We provided some belly laughs. I know it. For some people driving to work, some people going to bed, whatever they're doing, somebody somebody got some belly laughs because mm-hmm. of you and uh, Micro Penis Miguel. I thought we were actually, it's, I think it should be Mouse Cock Miguel. Mouse Cock Miguel. That's what we're going nice. to do. I, I thought there was actually going to be some violence in here. I thought it was going to mm. come to blows. I wasn't sure at first. Yeah. This ain't the view, kids. Well, Danny, if you were a nice blacked out man at the Bubba Gump and some jerk off fast talking tall fucking glass of water gave you a paper mm-hmm. I can't believe with a that. with a drawing of a guy holding his penis chasing <laughs> the lay another lady at that restaurant right let's say <laughs> and you gave it to them and it got you kicked out Band. Of the entire band from Universal, band from Universal <laughs> Studios and CityWalk. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you be pissed? That is the funniest thing ever. Leo. And the way he slipped it in, like he didn't want to admit the yes. whole time. He's like, fucking, it's probably because of that paper that you fucking gave me and shit. And we're like, what? Leo. <laughs> that's the funniest thing that's ever happened in the history of the world, maybe. I would give my parents' dog mm-hmm. to a, a Korean man <laughs> if I could see a tape of that happening. The same, same. And also him going to four other bars and then all the security getting yes. on the same page. Just we a, created way too many ripples that day at Universal. So we, many ripples. We created Le- too many ripples. Leo is telling me now that every single one of his coworkers is frantically texting him. Blur him. from. Dem- I want to be blurred. Demanding they be blurred in the video. Mm-hmm. How many people? and all well mainly mainly uh one it's honestly just one and he's very very upset the guy that was in the vip section that said i was a legend and then we made the joke about the penis in the hot tub and he was like yeah yeah, yeah that happened i just don't get it it's he's nothing. sober he didn't, he didn't there's do a anything. camera out right it's on him right I, I, I think mean, he's like, overreacting people, people, totally. People get uh, overrung with our size, really, in person, and they just do whatever we say. Yeah, yeah, they get overwhelmed, yeah. And I think that that's... Mostly part, women, too. Mostly like, women, yeah, they do. Oh. It's just, we are large. Yeah, yeah. We're large and, and in charge. And the tone of voice we use, oh, yeah. on your knees, into this abandoned stairwell, <laughs> start sucking. All right, they just do it. <laughs> they, they do, do it. it. Mm-hmm. And they don't ask questions. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And they don't even feel bad about it later. They mm-hmm. tell their girlfriends and they're proud. And no, they, anyway, they tell the detective eventually. Yes. Unfortunately. I feel like that's, that's what's happened to him. him. They cool. tell the son. He's should I call him right now and see how he responds on the uh on the phone? No. <laughs> no, no, we can't do Because that. that's gonna humanize it. Yeah. I I, I don't want to th- I don't want to feel bad. He's not gonna be he's gonna be upset. He's gonna be like, You're a fucking asshole. Uh, that'll make me not want to do anything about it. Has Emerson hit you up? No, but uh my boy called me. The only guy that the, the guy that I actually only the only guy that I talked to that he doesn't work there anymore, but he's like my better friend from Waterworld, like he's a good friend probably be in, in the wedding he told me to text the guy because the guy really looks up to me and always has emerson yeah you think emerson's bummed uh, maybe dude i mean there's 120,000 people calling him a bitch in the comments and shit so <laughs> people are talking fuck, shit to emerson you know how many fuck emerson's i got dude I, I mean i don't know i don't think they found him on instagram or anything but i'm saying a lot of people in my DMs were like, fuck Emerson. You know what I mean? So See, I haven't seen any of the feedback from this video. I was on. I had a day off yesterday, and it's I good. haven't looked at any analytics. People are loving it, though, huh? Yeah, yeah. a lot of people are, uh, you know, it's it's one of our immature videos, let's call it, you know, but it was it was pretty good. It was a uh, it was a blowout of mass proportions. That was great. You know what I mean? And uh, the visuals, you know, the visuals, Harry Potter world, it's it's a. It's a wild little ride. Yeah. You know, it starts with a fan and then Carlos and then gets into the Margaritaville. And it's 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 a classic. I'd say it's a classic. I'd say so, too. Mm-hmm. One second. Also, I'm going to piss. Can we pause real quick? Uh, Leo, do you want to go retrieve? I'll retrieve our boy. Carlos. Carlos. Maybe. I have a presentation for him. I know. Ah. 
the key to a successful business pitch, Dino, if you wouldn't mind bringing the camera back on me, is conveying your vision. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Carlos into the world of my brain. I want him to see what I see in my mind's eye and enchant him with that vision. Once he's enchanted, ooh, he's like a trout with a hook sunk in his jaw. It's going to be easy to get him on board the crew with a very favorable contract. Carlos, let's talk business. It's time for boardroom mulling here. Right, bro. Yeah, it was, it was you, bro. Corporate, Corporate mulling. Incoming. Listen. It's like you, fucking Spider-Man over there. You can't even like, You good, bro? Listen. In the business world, there are three priorities. Yeah. Net, bottom line, and residuals. Yeah. When all three of those... <laughs> Why are you laughing, dude? Because <laughs> look at him, dude. He's the man. He looks like the devil. He does. He, he does looks like an alcoholic oh. Sorry, Latino yeah, 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 devil. Yeah. Listen, when the residuals in the net sync up with the property rights on the spots we have in South Central, mm -hmm. that's when we bam, hit them. That's when we bam, capture mean? market share. Not bam, that's when we hit critical mass. Listen, I want you to be a part of the Danny Mullen crew. Okay, so what do you want, bitch? Listen, listen, did you hear him? You're in yeah, the crew. What do, you, what, do you want, what do you want, bitch? What do you want? Listen, yeah. I want you to sign the contract I'm going to pass your way. Okay. So, uh, I want you to join our let me, crew. Let me, let me cap this. What was that, Carlos? Let me cap it. Okay. I don't want to lose any of the Casamigs. You cap it, because I ain't capping. Are you capping? Bro? He's not capping. This yeah. is going to be your name. He gives people names. Once you join the Danny Mullen crew. Ready? Read it. Like King Croc. Like exactly, like King Croc. Look at yours. What's my name? I have pretty bad vision, so I I cannot read that. Wrong. Pretty bad vision, huh? Give it to him I closer. Is that what it is? It's like nothing. It has nothing to do with what you've been pouring into your mouth. I'm sorry, bro. Mouse cock Miguel. Oh fuck you! You got a small <laughs> dick, bitch. <laughs> your mouse cock Miguel. Hey, but like you dream about sucking a small ass dick, right? I love sucking small dicks. It's easy on the jaw. That's why I want you around me. I got you, bro. I'm fucking gay, hey, Carlos. Hey, are you gonna hey, sign on or what? Hey, Carlos, what do you think? Will you be let me, in the crew? Let me, let me hear you gag, bitch. Oh, shit. On your little mouse cock? Yeah, no problem, Miguel. <laughs> you hear it? No. Mouse cock. Well, the, the mic it's doesn't go. Enough, it only bro. goes one way, but. This dick is like me choke, bro. Mouse cock. Have you ever let a man do his thing? Dick, dick make you choke, bro. Hey, show us your dick, bro. Let's see your dick then. Just whip it out. We have to blur it. Pull your pants down. Yeah, hey, we have to blur it, bro. We can't put it on the. But show us your dick. Fuck it. Fuck it. He'll show you his dick. You want to see his dick? I think King Croc has what you're looking for, bro. He has a big. He does. Mine has been proven. Big ass dick. It's too big to suck. It's nice to look at. Carlos. Carlos. Big ass dick. Carlos. If my boy. Carlos, if my boy Danny shows you his dick, would you show us your dick? Yeah, for sure, dog. For sure. Oh, you said that's your word, bro. That's your word, dog. I don't want to show this I guy my penis. Word. Why? He showed his word. He's, he, that's his word, Danny. He won't do it. This guy will back out. No, hell no. He's a writer. You want to show each other our penises? Carlos, you want to go behind you that room? You my dick. Like, I don't know. Dick, <laughs> I'll suck like your dick. Ass, oh, I guess, I'll make you feel good, baby. Like dick sucker ass nigga. I'm going to take you behind <laughs> the room divider. I'm going to get down on my knees. I'm going to bring your pants down to the floor. And I'm going to run my tongue up from your inner thigh oh, to like your pelvis, yeah, to your yeah, testicles, so bro, you know? to the base of your penis. I'm going to suck uh, you until you come all over my face. Hey, what's your name? Austin? Steve? Your Look at Steve. me, dude. He's not going to suck your dick like I will. I'm Austin. Austin? Austin loves sucking dick, bro. Like, oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, what the fuck? Is he going to suck you, Austin? No, he said he Gross, Austin loves dude. sucking dick. He just said that yeah, out of nowhere. He, oh, that's does. that's just common knowledge. That's why mm -hmm. I didn't react. I think Austin, like, he would love sucking dick, bro. All right. Let's, let's, talk, let's keep talking business, like, like, Carlos, like, we need to... Oh, Carlos, yeah. listen. I know you're a little drunk, but we need to, We need a, a clear answer. It, will you be part of the crew? You have to be known, unfortunately, or fortunately, because you can really lean into this as Real. mice. As sorry, mouse cock Miguel. Yeah. Are you in? Are you okay with it? MCM. 
I have my own business. Uh, listen, like, um, come on, dude. <laughs> but let's talk. Let's talk money. Just to have fun every now and then. Let's, yeah, talk, yeah, yeah. let's talk money. My name is Miles Cogan McGill. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's talk money. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk money. You want to talk money? Let's talk Miguel money. Miguel Zelloni. He's that's a mouse cock. Yeah. Miguel, you want to get paid? Here's what we're gonna do: twenty thousand dollars <laughs> cash. We're gonna give you four bushels of wheat, and we're gonna 20, give you twenty thousand. Like a little bit of money, bro. Like twenty thousand bucks. Yeah, like that's a little bit of money, bro. You want twenty thousand uh, dollars? We we it comes. That's with like a, what I make in a week. So like I don't know, bro. It also comes with a nice big uh, um, uh, cheese, brie cheese. Maybe you like you, brie? Maybe you'll like that. So like with an aerosol can, that, yeah. some brie cheese. You like brie, dude? Yeah. Your mouse, your mouse cock, French? Miguel. Mouse cock, yeah, Miguel mouse loves cheese. Miguel loves cheese. Mouse is over there. Like they uh, love cock, bro. <laughs> no, I think you're the only. <laughs> you mouse just in the keep room saying cock. that Austin and Dino are gay. Why? are you... Why do you keep saying they're gay? Well, because well, they, they, they really come off as gay as fuck. They know? call alcohol <laughs> truth serum, don't they, Leo? Yeah. They're like, they come uh, off as gay uh, as fuck. Hey, bro, like, I love you for three years. Like, I don't even know if like three minutes. So, like, you know, they actually they actually call Dino gay no out on the high school playgrounds. Oh, shit, bro. My brother's gay. So, like, you know. Who's gay? My brother's gay. Is oh, he? Oh, really? Yeah. Are you just is saying he, that is about him? Is he gay him? or is he, just a, is he just gay? No, my brother's <laughs> gay. So, like, you know. Like, he likes dick? I guess, yeah. Wait, so wait, time out. The one with the masters. Are you sure you're, you're not just bad mouthing him because he's the most successful brother? Nah, he's like fucking legit, bro. But he's gay. Yeah, of course. We have against that. Yeah, I mean, any guy goes to college is gay. Like, what, 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 what do you have against that? Yeah. You're well, right. I think it's bro, I think it's bro. not no, no, the way of God. One time was I was action, reading. Miguel, yeah, bro, like, yeah, like, I mean, was Miguel <laughs> don't you think don't you think gay people are gonna go to hell? My bad. You can hear like, 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 like a big ass in your mouth, right? Like, what? Not me, not me, not me. Carlos, one time I was Yo, reading at right recess. We should, we should test his BAC, dude. Nah, that'd be incredible. <laughs> that'd be cool as fuck, dude. What were you saying, Liv? Carlos, I was reading at, when I, at when recess. When I got my DUI, it was like a like 1.81. 1. 1.81? Mm. That's not that bad. Over twice the legal limit, but that's oh. okay. What? That's like 10 1. years. 1.81 is dead. Oh, Would really? he be dead? Yeah. I don't know. A point, I oh, a, yeah, point oh eight. I think a yeah. point four, you're no, dead. No, like, look up my fucking um, record. You'll see the real limit. <laughs> Leah, what the were you doing legend. on the playground? At recess, I was reading once, and I don't think it makes sense anymore. Fuck it. You remember recess at all, Carlos? Recess is my favorite, like, um, like yeah. It's tight. My you favorite. like recess is sweet. It's a great subject. I know, my boy, he... Uh, he made professional football of that, yeah. What? Off recess. Who is he? Jimmy Mellis. Gio Mellis? Jimmy Mellis. Linebacker Mellis. for the Broncos, dude. He's really yeah? good. Yeah. Jimmy Mellis? Yeah, he is. Okay, so you, like, uh, you know at the start of the show when they're like. I, I, I was a little, so I, um, I, I ate Anthony Barr. Okay. Anthony Ibarra? Do you know Anthony Ibarra? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, a, fucking... a wideout for the Rams. Okay, so like, I was in his classroom. No way, yeah, dude. dude. He went yeah. to the stars. He got in trouble for beating the shit out of his wife. Yeah, he did. He's a domestic okay, abuser. So it doesn't matter, though, Good like, player. A baller. Like, Good player. Cool. High points to ball. <laughs> well, well, fast uh, as shit. What's he going to play for? He plays the for the Rams, dude. No, you're stupid as fuck. What do you mean? Dude, he's on the Vikings. Oh shit! He oh, got he traded, got traded. Dude. He, he got did. Traded. He got traded. Yeah, and they sent a third round and Jerry Judy. No, for him. Yeah, it was a good deal. Up, dude, he I got know. caught in the locker room fucking the mascot, oh, or it was yeah. a, it was a. I, I think that was the usual. Yeah. And anybody <laughs> who fucks the Vikings mascot <laughs> is gay. Oh, yeah, for he's sure. Just a dude. Yeah. It's a dude, dude. It's not an animal. This is a big pirate, and you fucked him in the ass, bro. <laughs> I'm a pirate what? fucker. You, you fucked the Tampa Bay Buccaneers mascot, Leo. Fuck about why are you saying things like you fucked the Buccaneers mascot. Why are you saying like that stuff about me, Carlos? I didn't fuck anybody. Buddies. I said he did. Oh, he uh, did. Oh, who did, I did. Yeah, I did. You know, I'm a yeah, big Tampa Bay dude. Tom Brady fanboy. Mm. Well, I was down there. Oh They're shit, They're playing bro. the Falcons, and I. Who's your favorite quarterback? Tom My favorite Brady? quarterback is probably uh, Andy Dalton or Tim Tebow. <laughs> what the fuck? Tim Tebow's a baller. <laughs> You're stupid as fuck, bro. Are you a Raiders fan or no? Raiders fan, bro. What are, what are you? You are a Raiders fan. You know what they used to call the Raiders. Yeah, fuck you too, man. Yeah, they used to call them the fucking Gators. Yeah, well. <laughs> and they say all the fans are fucking gay. Hey, actually, this is a question I've always wanted to ask, Carlos. You're from the hood, correct? You're from Compton. <laughs> I don't know, am I? 
Uh, you told me that. I think so you're you from said you grew Jay up in Am South. I? I don't know. You, you said you grew me. up in South Central. I heard. I, that I, most, I, think, I, I think he's from. That, that, is that is great. That's great. That's great. Have you watched the special on 2020 on gay gangsters? I don't know. You were on it though. <laughs> <laughs> you're gay as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> gay gangsters. Uh, bachelorette, <laughs> fucking nigga. Yeah, so, oh uh, shit! How do you know about that? Man, he still got it. Uh, he's still he, swinging. He, yeah. he connected for like, on that one. Yeah, he cast for like fucking in the butt. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking a girl in the butt. Yeah. Carlos. I'll fucking nigga in the butt. What do you, what do you say oh. to the academics, to the Ivy League elites who say yeah. that non black POCs shouldn't be allowed to use the N word? Uh, can you try what you got to say, bro? Well, That's the people good. say that just, Honestly. they say that Asian people and Mexican people shouldn't say the N word. How do you feel about that? Oh, my oh, homie is Filipino and he likes his nigga all time, bro. Is he, he, he's he's talking to the mic. Talking to the mic. He keeps saying it, Kate. Uh, my friend is a Filipino. He's this nigga all the time. You know? He's European? Know, he's he, Filipino. He, like, you know, he grew up in Watts. He's Filipino. Oh, he grew up in Watts. Yeah. He's a Filipino? He's Filipino. He grew up in Watts. Is, uh, that's not okay. Not okay. Why not? I like how oh. that's his feel- weather vein as to what's okay. Right. What his Filipino buddy does. Well, he's Whoa. he is a uh, he's he's actually in the car. So you want to meet him? You want, you want to meet him? He's in the car. In the car, bro. I want to go down you? there, but I'm afraid Leo is gonna. Nah, use he might. I mean, he got shot in the femur. Like he got shot in the femur like recently. So like um, he had shot in the femur. He's a, a road yeah. just like they fucking um, uh, they put over and they shot in the femur and they shot a femur. Shot. Who shot him in the femur? Uh, some fucking bitch ass singer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, it was road rage, bro. Yeah. Road rage. So he was just driving. He was driving. Uh, he flipped somebody uh, from off. Fucking, uh, from Vegas to like LA, and somebody said, oh, "Probably man. driving from San Francisco to West Hollywood." No, I said fucking Vegas to LA. No, <laughs> that, nigga. that guy's gay. Yeah, 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 yeah. he got fucking shot in the bro. Yeah, that's fucking gay. Yeah, it's close to his cock. Yeah. <laughs> wanted something pointy to go where his crotch is. Uh, well, yeah, dude, he can't walk anymore. But like, yeah, well, fuck him, right? Yeah, it's because he's Yo, been getting Carlos, fucked in the ass. That's why he can't walk. Let me well, ask fuck you. him, like, fuck him in the ass. Well, I'll, I'll, oh yeah, I'll, dude. I don't know you and yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring him in here. <laughs> Fucking know, eat dude, my uh, asshole. He might be as fuck as you, but like you know, maybe. Tell him that there's a fucking gay orgy in here right now. Um, he might be into that, but I don't know. <laughs> Actually, know. that would be the fun if we mic'd Mousecock hey, Miguel up and he can I call him right car. now? Can yeah, I call him? Can yeah, I call him and say there's a yeah. fucking gay orgy going on <laughs> in here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey <laughs> keep yourself together. Hey, listen, Mousecock Miguel, keep yourself together. Fuck you got to be good. Call your homie. Fuck him, Miguel. Put, can put can it I, up. Can I put my dick in your mouth first? Though? No, stop it. Sure, it's a mild concession, Leo. Fine. Listen, put hey, the mic. Yeah, hey, put it on speaker. Though? No, wait. Listen, you got to listen. This is, uh, this is gold. Uh, like, like, this is gold, but uh, I need you to put the, your phone on speaker and then put it up to the mic, okay? And then talk like this. Look, you're going to be like this. Hey, I'll put the guys with put it on speaker. Put it on speaker. This is going to be about as successful as the Challenger launch. We'll see, dude. We'll see. Like well, this. Look I, at me like I this. I know about the Challenger, though. Like this. Because uh, there was a gay guy. I was fucking on it. No, dude, like, my homie had uh, 29 challenger, but like, I was like, oh, fuck, how do you know about right, that? Sure. Tell yeah. him. I was that. there, dude. <laughs> tell him, tell him. King, what do you... Put it up to the mic, yeah. <laughs> no way. Dude, he didn't fucking on your no, bro. I don't even think he remembers what the premise of this call is. You I tell you him. not There's know. a gay orgy going on in here. He's, oh, that's why him... Oh, it's probably really mad. It's probably really mad. Probably really mad. Please leave your message. Oh, yeah, that's him, dude. <laughs> Can I call him and say that <laughs> that Danny's fucking you or no? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I'll, I'm just case there's a gay orgy. You, give him, what's his you number? Call him and say, like, um, I'll fucking Danny's mom. Oh, that's no, fine. Uh, yeah, I'll give him that. Yeah, he can do it. We've abused Mousecock Miguel. All right, hey, hey, text me his number right now. See if you could do that. Bye. What did you have to say, King Croc? No, oh, I was just going to text it, text it to me. Why are you not ready, bro? Text it to me because we got we to continue uh, the pod. If you are drinking, If you grow up ready, with bro. black people, because if you're like, if you grow up with black people around you and you're kind of hood, it's kind of like just get a pass, kind of. Like. You get the pass. Yeah, like but a, if you're a pussy, you don't get a pass, don't get bro. A pass. Yeah, exactly. Like 6'9". Well, see, that's what Knock I mean. Like out. He doesn't feel like he's getting a pass because he's not a pussy. Like He's going to stand on oh, yeah, best, type bro. shit. So it's kind of. He also lives in Compton. Yeah, he's like in the hood and shit. Like, you know what I mean? He's like, a, he's a real one. If I ju- if I said it, like every five sentences, I just said the word. 
Yeah. Would it be a little weird, or would you give me a pass? It'd be pretty, it'd be what, pretty what, weird, what, honestly. What? Unless you really started being hood. You gotta start <laughs> being hood, like, not just on the camera. So what? if Danny all of a sudden, if he moved to Compton, started yeah. getting involved in the community, wearing, yeah. maybe he he started wearing a wife beater. Yeah. Walking around, like, maybe, straps, maybe, maybe slanging I, his I cock. Help say, I'm about to buy, like, I'm about to, read out, like, uh, I'm about to at least have, like, uh, um, He's a landlord. A, uh, commercial unit. Hmm. But I'm... You bought a building? We're going to rent a commercial building, but like, uh, it's, it's for, it's for uh, a weed shop. Okay. Oh, that's sick, man. You yeah, own the yeah. building, huh? <sighs> no, no, no. You're misunderstanding. So, so, like, we're renting it out. Are you renting it out for a yeah, weed yeah, shop? He so, like, doesn't come over and like, um, promote us. What's and, the like, rent? Um, uh huh. What's the rent? It's like a it's still gross feet. It's 100. <laughs> so, like, uh, maybe. 100 bucks uh, a month? It says 100, bitch. 1200? Yeah. It's basically honey. in Compton. It's fucking dirt cheap. It is a cheap. You know why though? You why? suck the guy's dick. Uh, <laughs> oh man, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I, I, uh, I'm trying to be cool as fuck, but like, but uh, am I bugging? I might knock you out, bro. No, come listen, on, dude. dude. Mousecock Miguel, come say that to my face. Okay. You won't knock shit. Stop. Stop. You dude. won't no, knock. Kid Croc, shit. get up. Kid Croc, get He's up. Not gonna actually. Mousecock, you can't. I'll throw. They call me Scrappy Pete out there in the street. Honestly, if you want to hit him once, though, I got to reach a 72 inches, motherfucker. No, 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 you can't. No, 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 no. I got soccer kicks for days. I will curb stomp a motherfucker. I'm a hood up in this bitch. No, 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 no. I'm fucking gangsta. I am gangsta. I will sleep you, you little punk ass bitch. Let's That's go. it. That's stop. Let's fucking go. No, no, no. He's fucking with you. He's fucking with you. He, he's fucking with you. 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 Stop. 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 Don't fuck with me on my own turf, homie. Hey, yeah, here, I got you. Stop, dude. <laughs> Stop. This is why you get fired, bro. You got to keep it under. You're, you just got hired as my Mousecock Miguel. You can't be fighting on the job already. Get that Mousecock back on the couch, bitch. That's right. You are. You signed my contract. You work for me now, motherfucker. Residuals and shit. I wish I could go back in time 10 seconds. I would have smacked you when you came over here. No, dude. You wouldn't try that again. Do it, bitch. Stop it. No, but on some real shit, son of a bitch. I have a feeling in Carlos. You can tell me, Carlos. Carlos, use the mic. Use the mic. Hey, um, can I get get on the back of my no, 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 no. Not right now, not right now. Maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, camera, camera. I know that you're upset about what he made you give to the woman at Bubba Gump. I understand <laughs> that that got you yeah. kicked out of one of your favorite places. My girl, like, she's like, oh, like, you're fucking, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck up. Like, she's like, it's, well, she, it's if he bitch. told the, his girl the story, Danny, I could see why she'd be upset. She said, that I, she said I was lying, bro. She's like, oh, like, these two white niggas came up and they talking like shit. Was like, oh, man. Exactly, bro. Like, oh. His girl probably thought he was trying to pick up on this guy. She thought I was like fucking. Bro, she thought he said Carlos instead of Lane. Carlos hostess. And he was chasing her around with his dick out. She thought I was spending like five hundred bucks, but like I did spend hundred bucks on drinks. But like but How much did you spend on drinks? Like uh, like cool like like five hundred bucks. I think you bought us a you bought me a shot. You I bought you a shot. I don't know. Actually, he bought you a shot. Yeah, you just tried to fight me, and I bought you a shot. He what bought you fuck? a shot. She was like, Carlos, and I was like, oh yeah, I fuck. And so she was like, oh, like, you guys like a dumbass thing. I'm like, oh, fuck, bro. You know what? We'll apologize <laughs> to your girlfriend after after this if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, you, you, that'd be cool. That'd be I cool. will. I will. Cause she was like, she was my, she was my waiting, but like, she was like, oh, I fuck. Like. Well, she's waiting, guys. We actually ran a little bit late today because <laughs> we had an internet mishap. Yeah, the internet. But she's cool. Was, she's cool. She's like, she's. Yeah, we'll go meet her. We'll, we'll go meet her after this. What uh, what time are we at right now, Austin? <laughs> We're good. Okay, guys. Yeah, sorry. We we had to go linger in the parking lot while Spectre Man finished up because it was very. But like, but like, if you can send the negatives, I'll I'll I'll, 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 I'll prove it. So like, if I send the ones up, like she will. So like, I'm this close to whooping you, boy. 
Oh, you're a bitch, bro. Listen, Mousecock, <laughs> we you love wish, you. You wish, you wish you would, though? Like, it's not gonna, like, be your forehead ass nigga, like, you know? Ball hair cut ass nigga, you know? <laughs> 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 he called you a bullhead Bro, cut yeah. ass. <laughs> he called nigga. you a bullhead cut ass, nigga. Oh my god! Say it, like you wish you could be me, but like, uh, like I'll fucking beat you ass with my dick, you know. <laughs> You're gonna beat me up with your penis? Yeah, like, like through the back door. I just like it's, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. That's sure. For you, like my fucking girl. homo. <laughs> Hey, but you would love it though, huh? <laughs> I would. I would. I love it. I'd love it, Carlos. I'll suck you, baby. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos, a.k.a. Oh, Mousecock Miguel. Carlos, thank you for coming to the pod today. Hey, dude, I fucking love it, bro. It was, no, it was, good, it was, it was a good fun. time, huh? It was a fun? That was a good time, baby, right? Uh, hey, hey. It's, hey, it's all love, right? It's all love. It's all love, bro. Until you find me in the streets, motherfucker, and I lay yeah. your ass out. Yeah, but like, like, but like before you bring your dick up, like, I like knocking your ass out, bro. Dude. Fucking not be able to knock this dick down. Oh, yeah, this thing's like, big, yeah. and this thing is full <laughs> like, of blood. I'll the floor tonight. Just like something my dick on your forehead. You know? <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. Well, you're gonna mushroom, need a, but it's not a, gay though. Straight like, up, yeah. say you're gonna need a mushroom full, stamp your full ass. size A frame ladder to pull that feet off. Nah, like you love that shit, bro. And, and on that <laughs> note, this has been. Yeah, the I Leo know, like yeah, you show. love fucking dick on your forehead. Yeah. This has been the Leo and Danny show. <laughs>